education. That was actually the norm of the day uh, 10 years back. So 10 years back, there was introduction of outcome-based uh, education, which was what students learn rather than what a teacher gives as uh, in teaching. So all the uh, objectives of the syllabus and uh, curriculum were modified like that. After that, there is NEP, a national education policy, which came and said there should be flexibility in the education that uh, you can have credit, you can do first year, take some holiday, do some work, come in company and come back to education like that. And uh, now, the latest uh, policy that uh, our uh, government or uh, the Ministry of Education has introduced is National Innovation and Startup Policy. To summarize that, it is like making the students to learn while learn. So if you have some ideas, you can uh, work on the prototype, develop a device, and then give it to a industry for uh, manufacturing. So that is a trend that is going on. So I thought I will uh, uh, give you the definition of what a startup company means. Because nowadays, a lot of people are talking about that. Uh, like uh, start with a small company, make it big and merge with uh, Google or uh, some other IBM or some company like that. Uh, so the definition says that it's an entity that develops a business model in the form of a product which is scalable, that is a primary factor, scalable, replicable and self-reliant. This came as a definition in the Gadget of India notification. So, and it is true also, okay, what I will do is uh, then present you what are the characteristics we need as uh, innovators, right? First thing is creativity, we need to have creative ideas to develop different uh, options of obtaining the same solution and look at the profitability of that. And it involves risk because some investor has to give money to make that prototype. So it's a combination of creativity and risk. Both these factors, you should have that, develop that uh, quality or develop that uh, uh, characteristic in you so that you can move forward or have a team of people. So some who are creative, some who are into business like that. Okay. So to give you some examples, these are the some of the companies like Quadium, you all heard, okay, we like our uh, and then CD, which delivers food. Then delivery is again a courier service. Ola is a travel uh, support. Pharmacy is uh, something you can buy medicines online. And Factor is also related to pharmaceuticals. So all these started as a small 1%, 2% companies and grew up. Okay. So now, how to make this success? Which there are uh, various steps followed. Of course, I'm not going to give you only a generic uh, advice kind of thing. I'll show an example of my own work Okay, after uh, giving this introduction. So first thing is problem identification. Okay, let us say uh, somebody is having a group of people is having a problem of, uh, let's say, sugar or diabetes. Okay, then they don't want to go every day to the hospital to check their sugar levels. So people have invented that small uh, pick like thing, take a droplet and put in a machine, capillary will be there and it reads the sugar level in digital form. So that is one invention. So problem identification is the first one. Can I have laser? Okay, if it's not there, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so first is problem identification. Then uh, we have to have an idea of solution, solution to the problem. Just imagine some solution to the problem. Then form a team, form a team, two or three people, maybe one from chemical, mechanical, electrical, because all things one person cannot do. So you have to have a team. Then uh, customer validation. That means are there people ready to take the solution in the form of a device or a material that we develop, can they take that? That is the next step. After that comes the, if it is a device, let us say a device that purifies water, 
for example in the washing machine so much of water keeps going so far there is no device which can reuse that water unless there is a large uh, sewage treatment plant or something like that so there are problems uh, which we can work on to develop the devices then validation means the device that we develop or the material that that we develop let's say uh, let's take uh, that someone is getting a lot of sleep and before the exam you want to stay alert so you will have a cup of tea so tea is an intervention so like that if you have to validate your solution that means you should have tea and check whether you really the number of hours of sleep reduces or not then you want to take it to a commercialization marketing plan is required for that you have to collaborate with people from M with mba or so uh, and then come up with a marketing plan business and revenue model then funding is required as academicians or students we may not have that much fund not everybody okay so the funding is required and last step is the commercialization that means you prepare a product which is liked by the people and it is uh, put in the show okay so that is the last step but if you get ready of my own work so 2019 march 16 in our institute they declared lockdown and from then onwards we were at home we don't know what to do even if you want to do uh, some uh, research work or so we have to carry a letter from the district collector saying that we are working on an important project and uh, we can attend the college or the institute okay so the ah, thank you. okay no problem anyway i have very less text and more pictures uh so the problem identification as i have discussed in the earlier slide the problem was this uh, covid was uh, spreading from one person to another person and numbers this is the chart i have taken from the statistics only google statistics as you can see it is almost increasing uh, linearly or uh, exponentially almost linearly right and it may shoot up that was the fear and there was no medicine at that time vaccine also was in development in 2019 end uh, bharat biotech and other companies then the problem even more severe in the context of hospital staff and doctors they can also get the disease if they start uh, uh, working with a patient they can also get that so what is the solution if air is sterilized that means many people thought that it may be uh, on the surface or uh, on the door knobs so they are very careful you know wiping with uh, sanitizer and things like that but some scientists have proved that it is airborne that means there are very small fine particles which can uh, move in the air yeah so why does uh, that go as a red flag is because one person can infect two more people so it becomes a we can formulate a governing equation type of thing dn by dt is equal to am if n number of people are having today after two days it will be doubling so if you make it a mathematical equation and solve it we we'll get the curve in the right form but we want to bring that numbers down okay so as you know two weeks is the time for getting cured so within that two weeks if the number starts decreasing then we can control that covid disease so what we propose was that let us since that is in mathematical form we can subtract b let us say there is a machine that purifies the air around and uh, to say it can destroy the corona virus to some extent in the air so if you put a factor minus b to that governing equation then the red curve becomes green curve so you start to see decrease in the numbers so this is like an imagination or a scientific insight into what can happen if you have a device that can uh, sterilize the air okay so now we have to go in the pursuit of what really happens okay again one more scientific insight of proving that it is airborne 
Okay, the particles are very small, nanometer size. They can float in the air. Okay, so and it was proven that they can go even from here to six meters. Normally, they said one arm distance like that. It can go even up to six meters also. Okay, and then uh, I searched some literature, journal papers, how coronavirus can be uh, uh, like deactivated. If you increase the temperature of the air to 60 degrees or even above 50 and maintain it for some 1-2 minutes, then it starts to uh, decrease or get deactivated. So, as you see, if the temperature is 30 degrees, it will get deactivated after 20 hours or so. But if the temperature is increased, then in a short time, it can be uh, destroyed. <laughs> So that gives the objective of the device that we are going to develop. That means the device should heat the air at least about 55 or 60 degrees centigrade uh, so that the virus gets deactivated. Now, how to devise this? A simple example is uh, hair dryer. But the problem is in the hair dryer, the residence time is very less. Since many of your chemical engineers will understand the residence time means the time spent inside the device. Air enters and leaves within a fraction of a second. But we want the residence time to be of the order of few seconds. Okay, 10 seconds or so. So how to achieve that? Then uh, we came up with a, uh, a scheme. That means let it be recycled. The air that goes out of a heated uh, device comes back to the entrance. So if you see the left side uh, diagram, the air going from the inlet goes to the heater, then it is recycled back. So based on that, uh, we, we thought of what are the parts required to assemble. So the parts required to assemble are, one is air flow is required as in the bottom right side, and certain pipe structures and the wall heaters and those things. So those things will help to heat the air, but to control the temperature at 60, that we need is... Uh, uh, like uh, uh, sensors and uh, control system. Okay, so we have now gone little ahead from imagination to what is available in the market to assemble. Okay, to assemble and make a product. So we came up with a small product, small device. So it's the first uh, prototype. Uh, okay. It's okay. Like, oh, okay, maybe these lights you can switch off. Is there also. Yeah, this is the first prototype. As we thought, we'll go from the bottom up. There is a air flow air. Uh, there is a air inlet, or an opening for the air to come inside the device. Then heater is there, surface heater, followed by recycle system. Then there is a temperature controller. If the temperature goes to very high, again, we have to have high AC uh, load in the room to pull it back to the normal temperature. So, temperature controller is required and a measure of air flow rate is also required. Okay, so we build this uh, prototype, then we have to do a validation. Whether the heated air is sterile or not, we have to test. So, for that, again, uh, we did some first, before going to the biologist, uh, we tested just the uh, uh, thermal performance. Without heater, the temperature was reaching only up to 45. And with heater in a short time, we can take the air temperature to 60 degrees or 55 and above if you add a couple of minutes more. So this is the startup time for the machine to reach the 60 degrees. From then onwards, the air that comes out is sterile. Yeah. So we have to do some biology experiments. So for that, we collaborated with the uh, uh, scientists at uh, ISER. Uh, so, because they are into biology, not as I said before, one person need not do everything, we have to collaborate. So, the air from the outlet is uh, passed on to a growth medium, which is a liquid. If there are microbes, need not be coronavirus, it can be even uh, mycobacterium or other type of microbes in the air, which come into contact, then it becomes uh, like the first one. Uh, turbid after 24 hours. There is growth of microbes in the medium also, 
if there is no microbe in the air, then the liquid will remain as it is. So therefore, there is a method to validate the prototype. So we have done, it's a preliminary validation. Of course, when we want to do extensive, we have to do number of trials and prove it. So based on this, we filed a patent. Okay, we called it as uh, some name we have given. Of course, there was funding from one small company, Upper State. Iser also helped us in uh, validation and uh, engineering side is from IIT Tirupati. So we, since when we reach the stage of prototype and validation, we can file a patent. Because before you publish in a journal or something, it's better to file for patent because that way you can uh, protect it. Yeah. So we filed for a patent with a given number and we have to wait for one year or two years to make it a granted patent. And also after filing patent, we can release, uh, it was a little exciting for everyone. So we thought we can uh, tell the world that we have a, something, a device, which we can uh, develop or collaborate and develop. So one can publish in uh, media uh, that there is a solution to a problem. Okay, then next thing is to improve the prototype. There will be comments after we show the first prototype, there will be comments saying that this is very open structure, it may, safety is a problem, if children are there, it may get, uh, you know, like a current shock may be there or something like that. So we try to enclose that in a box. So that is the second prototype. Now, we can specify the features of the machine. Assuming that it will be adopted in industry or uh, households, we can specify what is the operating temperature, air flow rate, then power rating, dimension, weight, weight for the factor. Because with the motor and pump, everything, it was coming to 40 to 45 kgs. Normal household devices are not that heavy, like air cooler and so on. So, but price was okay. We, we then thought we should go for lightweight. Uh, then we framed a, uh, some uh, roadmap that first prototype, second prototype, what is the objective for the third prototype? We have to make it lightweight. If we can make it lightweight and less fast, it can be adopted in households or in office rooms like that. And uh, even since uh, whatever the other technologies that are happening in, in the uh, scientific world, we can incorporate it, like artificial intelligence, like only if people are there, the machine should come uh, on like that. Yeah. So we went ahead and now started consulting some fabricators because now they can give some ideas. We have the working model. So they said we'll make the shape slightly different. Okay. So as you see on the left-hand side, uh, the, this is a CAD model. It is not real. It is CAD uh, uh, computer-aided design model uh, where we can uh, see as though it is real. So what we did was, this uh, air blower, we reduced the big uh, steel blower to a just made of uh, inline blower. Okay, so as you can see, the in the first diagram, blue color thing in the bottom uh, tube, square tube, there is an air blower. So that when it starts rotating, because of Bernoulli's principle, there will be air entering one side and air leaving the other side. Okay, so we have to incorporate some simple scientific principles. Now, again, we reframe the uh, specifications of this device. Now, the weight has reduced to 20 kgs, from 45 to 20. So, we can call it next version of the prototype. And also, yeah, the designer said we'll give some front uh, view looking different, which will be in line with the air purifiers, air coolers, water coolers or water purifiers like that. And uh, the sterilization time, suppose if you keep it in a room of 10 meters by 10 meters, or 10 feet by 10 feet and height 10 feet, uh, the time required for sterilization is around uh, four hours. So we have to keep it on for four hours and leave it. Okay, so see, you may be also having some ideas of other problems. So I'm only showing what is the steps to be followed. Still, this is not yet uh, commercialized, 
but what it resulted was that uh, patent what we applied in this meantime it came to examination they will send us uh, a questionnaire that this is similar to somebody else's uh, patent why not you reply to this whether it is different or we have to define so ip stands for intellectual property rights ipr so now our the device is under examination one response is over and uh, we are ready okay so since uh, yeah we not said like we'll have two talks no it's okay it's okay i am okay like we can have interaction also uh, uh, so i'll come to conclusions as i said we have to go through number of prototypes after uh, framing a solution to the problem so have those in mind uh, that first thing whatever you get if you get a rejection in the market don't be worried you have to you can have some brainstorming with your team and then uh, think of alternatives and then maybe uh, next time you will be successful even with a better result uh, so as i said Uh, we have to have a scientific reason for pursuing the problem, and then propose a solution, build a prototype, validate it in lab environment. Need not show it to the public or something. Lab itself, you can uh, validate it whether it is working or not, like that. Yeah. And then uh, uh, important thing is you have to file for patent. If you don't file for patent and uh, publish in some journal. it becomes a general known knowledge and any known information cannot be given uh, ip rights so why that is important is like present day market like everyone will copy and uh, do the same thing if it is successful so if you want to uh, make it uh, like a uh, device that is of importance and of some value to your team then you should file a patent Or if you are okay, I am okay with every, anybody taking the uh, this particular uh, insights and build their own. You need not file a patent. Uh, and then improve the technology readiness level. That's what I was saying. The first prototype, it is not maybe TRL. It's called abbreviation TRL one or something. Second one, little better, so TRL two. Then third one, when the consumer starts to like it, that's called design thinking. i mean i too learned uh, recently that uh, you have to see from the point of view of consumer whether they will like what type of uh, shapes they like when it comes to devices that purify air or purify water like that and improve the trl by innovating new features and uh, secure the patent in as soon as possible it may take two years one has to be patient uh, then uh, you can partner with some other uh, marketing companies or friends who are in uh, investing uh, type of uh, institutions and then the last one is uh, your objective like you know if you go to a supermarket or electronic shop and see that some portion of some device you have developed i mean that gives satisfaction i mean th that is the bottom line uh, of course uh, if you are a very good uh, have a very good product you will get some share of the profits also okay so with that i would like to thank uh, department of uh, chemical engineering at nitap for giving me this opportunity and uh, i'll be happy to interact or uh, if now or in future also thank you sir there are any questions any one from the audience if you have any questions please go ahead So what is the machine like? Is it is uh, like it should, it should be immediately used? So what uh, can we get an immediate patent to that? Yeah, that's a very good question. So there is uh, something called uh, priority patent. Uh, for that, you have to one is the fees will be additional uh, patent fee, but uh, you get a recommendation of uh, let us say the Medical Association of India. 
something like this. I am an Indian medical association. Tell me. Or any other equivalent uh, um, body of uh, government. Then they can grant you patent soon. But even if you don't get the granted patent, you can start producing the machine according to the statute base. You can start producing. But if somebody else copies it and you get a patent later, then you can apply for a legal action against them. Because once you publish the patent in the website for, of uh, patent office, it will be available for everyone. But it will be in your, in your name. So you are only entitled to do the production. But there will be people who can utilize that uh, depending on how you want to take it forward. Is a thing. But that is possible. Priority patent is uh, there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for the insightful talk. Now I invite Dr. Vinod Kumar Raja, the of the department, and all the faculty members of Chemical Engineering Department to join to felicitate Dr. T. Sunil Kumar by presenting Memento, Shawl, and Certificate. Dr. Gautam, to introduce our next invited speaker, Dr. G. Adhanari Sharan from NIT Thirichara Pali. Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and uh, our uh, respected speakers and our invited guests today. I am happy to introduce our next session speaker, Professor G. Adhanari Sharan. Professor G. Adhanari Sharan has completed his chemical engineering in CIT Coimbatore. In 1997, and he finished his master's in 1999 at AC Tech Anna University, and then he defended his PhD in 2005 at AC Tech Anna University, and then he accomplished his postdoctorate in Logro University UK and Monash at Monash University Australia. Prior to this, I mean, uh, yeah, post that his experiences include he, in 2005 he was appointed as lecturer at Chemical Engineering Department in Anna University Chennai. And then he moved to the Department of Chemical Engineering at NIT Tirishtrapalli in 2007. And he is a professor in the Chemical Engineering Department at NIT Tirishtrapalli, having 20 years of experience in teaching and research. His accolades and awards include the following that he has received Research Exchange Award from the Royal Academy of Engineering London in 2010, NU Executive Award from Australian Government in 2011, Hiroshi Environmental Award 2020 from Japan for Outstanding Research in the field of environmental conservation. And he also received the Brain Pool Award from South Korea in the year 2016 and 2019. In addition to his current roles, he has been a visiting professor in abroad too, and he has served various university visiting appointments at Brazil, Malaysia, Hungary, Thailand, and South Korea, UK, Belgium, Germany, and Australia. And in his industry academic interaction, he has been the principal investigator for main sponsored research projects and industry funded projects and also projects funded by agencies like DST, DPT, CIPQ, Brazil, MSC, Korea and RAE, UK, Asia India, Asia India Fund and NRDA Hungary. And coming to his research collaborations, he is also collaborating with research institutions like Laura University UK, Monash University Australia, 
University of Sao Paulo is present, University of Technology Malaysia, Kong Fu University of South Korea, University of Sigurd Hungary, PSU Thailand, UMP Indonesia. His recognition and achievements include he being the chairman of Indian Desalination Association in South Zone and is also the executive member of Indian Membrane Society and life member of Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers and his program advisory committee member of SCRP PSC Government of India for evaluation of research and development related projects. And coming to his publication history, he has published two patents, 180 articles in international journals, and two books, seven book chapters, and has presented 90 research findings at various international conferences. This is used, and research guidance, he has guided postgraduate thesis of 47, of which students are in progress, PhD thesis, he has guided 13 students, and seven are in progress, and he has guided one postdoc. He also has the editorial roles of editorial roles in various journals, which include associate editor role in Emergent Materials, Springer, Springer Nature, Switzerland publisher, and is an editorial board of Journal of Applied Membrane Science and Technology, Journal of Membrane and Separation Technology, and he has presented the keynote and invited talk in various international conferences, workshops, and seminars and in Asian Membrane Society conferences, Indian Membrane Society conferences, Water Conference in UK, Malaysia, Germany, Indonesia, Hungary, Thailand, and South Korea. So we are very delighted to have you as our expert speaker. And now I hand over the session to Dr. Adana Reshwaran. So uh, his topic is Transnational Research and Technology Commercialization through Academia Industrial Collaborations. Welcome, sir.
Okay. So today, the title is Non Solution Research and Technology Commercialization through the Academic Industry Collaboration. Actually, the today lecture, I'm going to give you some information about that non solution research. You, 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 you learn something about non solution research. In addition to that, I'm going to give the lecture on industry academic collaboration. Then I move on to uh, some information about that uh, internship post doctoral opportunities for PhD scholars. I'm going to cover something different, not pure technical. Okay. Go to the next slide. Why is this working? Otherwise, you can do it. Do it. Next slide. Okay. This is my research group. Uh, we are working on development of membrane. And we started with this. Uh, Polymer uh, membrane, then we move on to hydrate membrane. I am uh, telling you that the collaboration, research collaboration is uh, very important. The research or industry collaboration, what mentioned about Sunil Kumar mentioned that uh, prototype. The collaborations uh, between uh, chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, biochemists, biochemists, uh, microbiology, chemist, physics. So if you do this collaboration with these different expertise, uh, we'll get a fruitful product out of this. The example is here, we started with this polymer membrane. Then we started the wastewater treatment. Then we move on to this fuel cell with the help of uh, Sikri people. Then gas separation with the help of the company uh, Galaxy Technology, we started to move on this gas separation. Then drug delivery. After that, we are working for you no know, sensing. It's a very new topic for applying membranes for sensing. So we collaborated with the Satra universities at room temperatures, ammonia sensed by this uh, membrane. We used ionic liquids and uh, metal organic frameworks. They are very good materials for sensing this uh, room temperature of ammonia. Then we decided for food packaging. So you have any bread. So you have any toxics coming out of this bread after one week. So uh, normal you know, food packaging materials. So we make it this uh, material with some pores. The pores called this you know, permission capacity. Due to this pores, so we will very toxic coming out of this any kind of food materials, only the good and the very uh, good gases or vapor inside the, uh, no, any kind of food material. That is the idea we developed with this uh, ammonia sensing at room temperature using membrane technology, not for thin film technology. Already you are using this very bag or plastics called thin film, plastics. Instead of that, we fabricated this pore forming material that is membranes for food packaging. So in this uh, open, uh, information about this research, what we are working in our NIT Trichy. Then we are moving to translational research or commercial research and prototype research with the help of these good people like you. So when we collaborate with the industry or whatever the sources. Next. This is the collaboration. So I collaborated with a few international collaborators. I traveled to many countries with, for research purpose. I collaborated. So the, you can you can tell the first one is the uh, Victor Staro. So I'm not strong in mathematics. Uh, what we done that the membrane surface, we developed the mathematical equation for this water droplet on surface. The water, you do the water droplet, we know we know that hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties. Due to hydrophilic and hydrophobic uh, properties, we measure the angle of this degree. Then based on that, we derive the mathematical equation, linear equation for how the behavior of water droplet on surface of the membrane if the surface are pores. Then next one is very interesting that uh, Victor uh, Sergio, 
So we got this uh, uh, wastewater treatment project. So in Brazil, I visited the sugar industries. There are some uh, struggle that the removal of minis. You have time just to Google it. Minis is very toxic material coming out of the sugar and waste industries. We developed this uh, ceramic mixed matrix membrane for removal of the minis. Next third one is interesting that I am the chemical engineer. I'm not I'm not familiar with the biochemistry, microbiology, microbiology. How many of them knowing that the quorum sensing inhibitors? The quorum sensing inhibitors are biochemists will know uh, will know by quorum sensing inhibitor. We are not that knowing the quorum sensing inhibitor. Very simple. The domestic wastewater have a lot of you know, uh, bacteria. The bacteria is growing day by day. They are adding some quorum sensing inhibitor, for example, curcumin, vanillin or furanone, they are called the quorum sensing inhibitors. They add to the wastewater to prevent, kill the growth of the bacteria in the wastewater treatment. So we suggested that instead of adding to this uh, quorum sensing inhibitor wastewater, we suggested to make uh, membranes with the help of the quorum sensing inhibitor. We developed the mixed matrix membrane by using quorum sensing in curcumin and other things. We published in Metal, Metal Science and Engineering C Gen. Next, so third one is I met this guy in uh, um, um, China. This is uh, Kai Song. So we still we are working on it. Next slide. So next slide is uh, very important. This Fauci is smile. Uh, we know Kumar knowing very well about the Fauci smile. Fauci smile is a very good man. So I learned a lot of things from the uh, Fauci smile. Now he is a vice chancellor. So he is. Uh, uh, you imagine this uh, membrane technology like this type of uh, this type of building. He is having advanced membrane technology center. So I frequently visiting. Next month I am going there. My students also frequently going there. They are supporting us. He is very good of mine. We published around 50 papers among with the house is mine. I am saying that your lifestyle and your uh, no, knowledge enrich, develop because of the good people, right? So, so I met this guy always motivating me. Whenever I call, he is coming to Trichy. He visited three, six times to Trichy. For example, if you invite Andhra Pradesh, invite to Fauci Ismail, he send a WhatsApp message, I am going or not to NIT Andhra Pradesh. He is getting opinion from me whether the place is good or not. That much of friendship I have. Now I am sending to four students, not NIT Trichy. They are coming from some private engineering college. They are working internship in my laboratory. They are very good. I said, you want to go to Malaysia? Yes, sir. Then I applied. I asked international visiting undergraduate student appointment. He sent the appointment to my stu the student. Next month, they are going to ETM Malaysia. Next one, Professor Khan. So I am I, I got brain pool award two times. So so with the help of this uh, Professor Khan. Next, my friend, uh, Tani Yevelan. He only supported me. Teach me, you can say that, how to write project proposals. Still, I am... No, remembering my friend also. Next. Actually, next, next slide. This is my publication. This is my fundings. So I, I, I have a lot of fundings from this uh, national, international funding from different sources. Next. Coming to this title, translational research. Actually, the uh, translational research should be the meaningful, should be applicable. The research directly to this human health. So you do the research, the question, the research can apply for any kind of social importance and social no, measures or whatever. Very simple, how many of the main TCR, I don't know, Global Council of Research Forum, they are putting a lot of fund for, you know, like students, faculties to develop this society in India, the fund by UK. So my UK professor sent a message to me, I need some humanities professor to submit the project proposal. Then what I'm saying that the translational research, you can read out. You can ask questions, sir, I am doing chemical engineering. I'm doing mathematical models. I saw some poster, it's called linear equation, linear equations. How I connect this mathematical equation to social importance, so confusing to me. How I connect this uh, uh, you know, green energy to this uh, no uh, social importance. Actually, what I decided, I'm memory technologies. So once I decided, I taken the survey. First one, water scarcity in India. Next one, I found one place. That place, then I searched from the data. 
the educational background of the people, economic status of the people. Then I suggest that I am going to develop membrane filter, but my domain is membrane, right? I suggested that I am going to develop the membrane filter. So the scarcity is very, very poor and brown water lover is a lot of arsenic, fluoride, chloride, etc, etc. The people struggling to drink the water, they are not that much education level is higher and higher. They are drawing day by day 8 kilometers, 10 kilometers to get the water. So what we plan to install, what Sir mentioned, Sunil Kumar mentioned, Sir mentioned that prototype, we develop membrane filter with the help of the industry. Then I suggested the proposals that we are going to serve the society for water scarcity issues. Very simple. For that, we need chemical engineers, economic professor, humanity professors, okay, some mechanicals because we need the, some prototype. Jointly, we submitted eight pro projects. So, I am asking you, you are a student, you interact with these other domain students, don't discuss with your chemical engineers. You have friends, you can talk to instrumentation, chemical engineers. So, you can make it some this, uh, discoveries for basic science or, or, or applied science to for any industry applications. The industry application is, I mentioned that zero here is benefit of human health. The benefit of human health not for the no, no providing no corona or something or any help to the human. So the human health means if you start the industry also you are helping for this, no? You start industry providing food also helping for this human, right? So your innovation research, not only the direct uh, human health measures or direct um, human health help. Instead of that, you can start any kind of pain, food, right? Okay, next example. Next example, you read out some example. Humans. Next one is involved establish effect effectiveness human clinical. But I give out this only medicinal research. That's why clinical is coming. Third one, primary focus on implementation of dissemination. Uh, dissemination research while focus on outcome effective in populations. This is called translation research. The translation research hierarchy is basic research, applied research, then translation research. Okay. Next, the barriers very important. Everywhere we have barriers. The implementing translation research is funding. So why we are you no know, academic persons? We are working only the such limitations. We are mostly concentrating only publishing purpose, right? We are not thinking about that prototype or any commercial technology. Why? So in NIT Andhra Pradesh, NIT Trichis, we have some limitations because we have contingency consumables in the limitations. We're going to work within the frame. If any industries come forward, they want to fund, you know, Kumar starts some new industry in ceramic membrane, right? So, <laughs> So, we are looking for this limited funding here. That's the problem. Right. This is the innovation. But the innovation is very fun. Think about the idea. Whenever travel by bus, car, everywhere you're going, then you think about the idea, about you connect with your chemical engineering concepts. Then you plan to do startup or entrepreneur or new industries. Okay. Next. Difference between this uh, applied and translation research, I give this information. So there are some cross and transless research is broader than the traditional applied research. It does not necessarily have effort connected to that research as practical. So no need for you always saying that practical is a viable validation. Don't bother. If you go for the presentation, they ask that validation is possible. <laughs> Experimentation is possible. You don't bother. Okay. See this uh, Facebook, you know all the example Facebook how started. Most of them rejected, then only you have to shave. Otherwise, you can't shave. Reject is over success. Okay, next. Next. This is, you can look at here, this is the basic research, applied research, translation research. When you success, when you success, look at this green arrow mark. Community size and impact. You have to impact the community. Okay. Fourth one is domain expert, process innovators, key players, boundary process. Even this, what is the definition of that? 
very simple take it first one system thickness you always find a cgpa if we enter to company so nobody support you your skill only saying your skill will be proof that you are fit for this job or not the how the skill based on this system thinking another one is the skilled communications the skilled combination i have more friends in the industry they are asking that now the coming students now they don't got skill why what you are teaching you are in the nit teaching they don't got skill means what the skill how to approach the hierarchy even the student don't know anything there are some feedback from the industries for example the industry asking to this implement this small plant go and get the contractor then interact the contractors finish the work this is assigned by the industry the graduate engineering training like you the joined us the industry they get to go to the boss so the contractor is not available that you you should know that four years law fix law okay <laughs> everything is available to google just you go and fix law for now linear equation non linear equations they are asking that you learn the skill how to solve the problems in the industries next one is this domain expert you want to you want the domain expert we are the expert in domain we are standing here and giving the lecture so you have to focus on it don't think about that you no know, general things you want to domain expert so i am working in membrane anybody ask me sir you can do this do things i said no because my domain is membrane so foundation is membrane in the foundation i can put different different things for example so in in, in cake the base is same you can you can add this strawberry or any other any things you know so that's what i am planning to work on this membrane if you come you have this herbal extract somebody approach me in the industry sir we have alura aloe vera herbal extract can you work for this membrane in industry in my lord they they ask me this uh, sugar can industry they send us to sugar syrup can you concentrate so we done it but i am not working for x based on this continuous or batch process right next go first it's a raw material storage you are studying storage vessel mechanical operation you studied that when we used to for feed preparation next reactions you study cstr and chemical reaction engineering that is useful for your reaction that one is the product separation you have in the product separation that one is product purification for example this yeah, next all the subject you studied here for um, you know implement the subjects to the industry you are strong in the subjects you are able to implement in this and update the knowledge what the teach in 4 years is not sufficient for your life even in nit teach we don't have curriculum for artificial intelligence application for chemical engineers but now need python so if no bro so most of the industries most of the university started to artificial intelligence in chemical engineering my collaborator in lagbro university is always saying send membrane you apply for image processing then it tell you this membrane for right otherwise we are measuring this on same images yeah for major roughness <laughs> no so they are more advanced if you have free time you go to is any any other python or artificial intelligence how to image processing face recognition breast cancer so how to that you no know, uh, methodology uh, to this chemical application future so if uh, if you go for the interview they ask they ask that so industry is doing with artificial intelligence do you have any idea about this image processing so if you say no sir we did study image processing deep learning okay that you can read out and you have free time okay so this is a chemical engineer supply the principles i told you beginning chemistry biology physics mathematics to solve the problem to evolve the production use of chemical fuels drugs foods and other products you think about that you no know, new new innovation product so you are coming here more than looking for the placement few students looking for that so for that you have a good human being to always chat with good people right sharing that you trust the people share the knowledge okay getting the knowledge from them okay and you have to talk with all domain don't talk with chemical engineering biology botany zoology you can talk to them then you are able to start new kind of business so you can you can think this survey always saying that 
the cosmetic is chemical engineer you imagine what is the difference between the cosmetics uh, start from the other people chemical engineer so there are a lot of difference so everybody is having their you no know, cosmetics now the parallel is having this you know innovation giving to you you are strong in designing you can do this design and give it to this industries make it more profit raise the cost so there are a lot of opportunities to you next this uh, the demand of chemical engineers number of industries depends on this intensive processing chemical so i am telling one industry you are uh, most of the i agree that most of the experiment work we are doing we are developing lot of uh, nano materials right graphene multiple carbon nano tubes okay function our what is our outcome only publishing high impact factor job over right but <laughs> they are flopping <laughs> right but the industry is uh, now uh, i have friends in korea i visited 10 universities i given this kind of talk to talk to most of the universities i have friends what they are doing they are getting the you know project to the industries they are organic materials the organic materials for 0.5 g or 0.2 g or 0.8 g one gram so after this their validation they are thinking that material you know applicable to this industry now industry also now india also moving in bangalore small industries are there what they are doing like you they are the small scientists there are is 200 you synthesize this graphene oxide right? you grant you synthesize they give it to this your boss the validation send the data to us or some other industries what they are doing they are doing it apply for this electronics application you ask the question how it's graphene uh, oxide for electronics application okay they are moving to different 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 applications so you you are scholars or any students strong in this experimental don't stop up to application level you think that product development of any kind of materials no need to you don't think sir sir uh, the innovation prototype is not for this you no know, making small you no know, no instruments or equipments this also you can do small business but you will get taking this local available clay wet clay just to do the different washing acid washing then crushing in the bar mill getting fine powder the fine powder is very very minimum size that sending to the paint industry right this is the clay material so the paint industry don't know anything but they are charging more i saw some you know papers we generating some lignin hemicellulose carbohydrate then source for the biofuel productions then you can take it any sources what are the rice husk bagas okay then you do this nice. so the broad so the ideas development product process business process design chemical engineering consultancy so all the faculties are trying to do this we are trying okay first one is product development process business then process design then we are planning for consultancy everybody is doing consultancy chemical engineering consultancy next then recycling process biofuel productions natural cosmetics i mentioned that so you can think about this curcumin aloe vera is available that is natural cosmetics so you post uh, mosquito repellents is more chemical one of the startup company started by chemical engineers using this natural product they started with small investment now they are doing very good business with pro the story is very interesting that so he he is he studied from tamil nadu he studied in chemical engineering if you know the composition of ferrol only you just add some natural product improve the fairness by using this natural that's what i am reading it all that the idea is very funny but if you stick on that continuously work on it you will success one day okay next video next next is another opportunities for the doing different business for people next so you are strong in process control you are strong in mathematics yosh fellowship these are all the fellowship for undergraduate student to do internship yosh fellowship is a switzerland you can go there dot fellowships vita fellowships okay so these are all the international internship program in different body you can apply you collaborate with them whether you, you can go there and then take this internship and this called you know 
voluntary consortia freedom affiliation merger then five different levels within disciplinary in the within disciplinary in the disciplinary multi disciplinary non disciplinary and national and international next we call it. okay so that's another only collaborates who does not want shared data so they are always you no know, telling that okay next next for us i don't know that what you can do this next Don't have much. Uh, next, next, I'll go for another one. You can, you can make it, uh, sir. This, this are the funding sources. What I can do? You have free time. Maybe you coming at ten professors or any industries. You make it collaborations. You have free time, right? So always doing these things. So you just say it done in the institution. You just you no. Know, File it and then take it to the sink. Okay, that shows that you are leading capacity. That shows that shows that you are missing capacity. That shows that you are easy to interact with the other people. If you organize this kind of symposium, you can raise a lot of problems, right? Don't take water bottle. Why should? So you manage all those things, right? That's a very good capacity you have. So they are looking for. Them. Okay, you can apply for them. Next, next. There are. Different kind of relationships. Next one, next one. Uh, academic funder, trust funder, post of fund, individual faculty, post of funder, university academic collaboration, university funding, bilateral funding. So you can have a lot of things. What you can. Do. Okay, next. So I go past. Just I show it. Only the one of the relationships are available. Just run past. Next, go past. There are different to us. How many of them knowing to us? To us is very excellent uh, funding agency. They are giving uh, go fast. You have free time. You can go through it. I consolidate and uh, you can apply because I want to motivate you. Don't stick on that only the subjects knowledge. So 9.5, 8.5 is GPA. Okay. So you try to make it focus, specialized. You you decide yourself how to make it specialized myself. Don't don't because more competitive. See how many NITs, how many IITs are coming, how many students are coming up every year. How are you going to compete with them? Very difficult. So you have to make it yourself. This is a very good institution, reputed institution. You have branding. Okay. How you use these positive things in your career? So better you can make it and make it in focus on one area. Second year onwards, you start to work on it. Don't start to find it. Start final year, you always miss all the opportunities. Better you start with second year, third year. You no, know, interact with the industry, interact with the uh, institution, interact with this uh, uh, professors. Do internship in industry or any kind of uh, things. Because uh, in the NA, in NAT we have these norms. If after uh, if you for summer vacation, you are going for the internship, we are providing on duty, right? Some other institution not giving this uh, on duty. So, for, for example, January 11th we start. You are coming to NIT Andhra for after 10 days or 15 days we are accept, right? So we are we are also registered. Yeah, we are accept, but what about here? Okay. So we have good opportunities. So you go there, do some internship, uh, interact with the people, make it yourself or choose your career. Be grateful. Okay. Next. 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 So this I going to conclude this talk. Um, and go also last. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. I want to show my students. Yeah. These are all my students, my pillar. Always I am um, interacting with the students. I with students I I mostly spend more time with the students instead of my faculty. So always uh, I still I am working there with my students. So I like my students. I like to work together with my students. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for. Uh, <laughs> thank so you know now this my uh, email ID. Uh, D F T contact uh, phone number also seven nine four zero. Three six one six seven three double nine four zero three six one six seven three. Don't ask me questions. Just send WhatsApp.
who use their daily taking from this volumes from this to one place, the Vivi took his two brothers. Right? They approached two brothers, then they 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 showed how this recognized process, only one place, only one place. How the recognizing process is. You see everything, the guy, today in the court, and this, the factor B1, put the amount of that people they started. They started with six branch, eight branch, ten branch, okay, all the countries. They call the several times, you are ruling, no, nothing man, you are, you are not following that different, that different, that different. Then they call the guy, you got to some dollar. Make them all the other people. All the two brothers. You close everything for McDonald's. You tell I went into McDonald's. How much amount do you need? <laughs> See, you feel that you 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 can't do the question. You are putting up, you are always telling your well, you said, right? Because of him, I am here. Because of him, I am here. Business always no play. You are good people, you are good people, but you can't study. <laughs> so, you understand? So, business is always this. We may not die, we may be very successful. We just be personal. He's like that. So, he just is growing. He's a businessman. He's growing. Right? So, he is not this guy. Advertising. We, is that. Function is that you are growing up, that is that what is What is called function? That's cheating us now. See, you are going to this kind of need, right? That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for the enlightening talk. I request head of the department, Dr. Vinod Kumar Raja, and registrar, Dr. P. Dinesh Shankar Reddy, and all the faculties of chemical department to felicitate Dr. J. Arthanari Sharan by presenting Memento Shah and Certificate. Now the time is approaching to lunch. I request dignitaries, faculty, and staff to have the lunch arrangements are made at the guest house. Lunch will be at one o'clock. Lunch for students is made available in the department itself. We will be joining by at two o'clock. <laughs>
ंग Professor Rao has received his B.Tech, M.Tech, and Ph.D. from University College of Engineering, Andhra Pradesh. He joined uh, R.B.R. and J.C. College and played a key role in establishing and developing the Chemical Engineering Department. He has published 33 papers in peer-reviewed national and international journals, nine book chapters, and more than 35 conference presentations. to his study dr raj rao is associated with iicc since 1979 and was instrumental in starting iicc guntur regional center in 2015 which has been redesigned as iicc amravati regional center and has been serving as its honorary secretary since then as a honorary secretary of iicc amravati regional center Dr Rao has received best regional center award three times with over 41 years of teaching and research experience in chemical engineering and having long active association with IICC at various levels Dr Rao has instituted an endowment lecture with the support of Amravati Regional Center members to motivate chemical and allied engineering students community and expose them to the emerging technological development and practices of chemical engineering and chemical industry so uh, today doctor last topic is the chemical engineering presents a scenario and future opportunities so now i take privilege to call doctor rao to stage over to you sir thank you even with the mic also i can speak with you <clears throat> first of all let me express my sincere thanks to dinesh the in charge register of this institute vinod hod of computing department and other other faculty members for giving me this opportunity to interact with you 
Please keep in mind, I am not a great academician. I may not be a great teacher also, but I like teaching, but I don't know if I am a great teacher or not. I cannot say. My <clears throat> interaction with you is not related to the any technical topic, like in the morning. But my topic may be motivated to you to interact with the topics, people, finally with the society. That's my intention. This is the second visit, as far as myself is concerned, when the campus is at Vasavi Engineering College. I visited this institute to inaugurate the IACG student chapter at NIT on the Pradesh. But after that, the department is organizing very good programs. Students are also actively participating. But the chapter or the activities in the name of student chapter is not continuing. But the departmental activities are doing it. And as far as we know, this concert is trying to motivate the students and to interact with the IACHE personnel. There is a brief introduction of this. I will proceed with the topic which I have given to me. You all know that the employment in engineering, be frank, in India is about 18 to 2 percent. Say, for example, if 10 lakh people are coming out as a product, only 2 lakh people are getting employment in India. This is the fact. But as far as the Andhra Pradesh is concerned, there are two corrupt people to motivate the society to get admission in engineering. I am not against the engineering, don't think like that. One is Narayana, other one is Chaitanya. These two people are the corrupted people. I do agree with them, engineering is a good course. But the engineering is not only the course to survive the people are to lead the life. There are numerous courses which he can flourish. But they say engineering or medicine. These are the two courses which he can survive. So in the name of that, they are collecting money, grabbing the money, misleading the society, parents and students. If I am wrong, I will withdraw my words. I don't have any hesitation to withdraw my words. In ancient the these two people, some people are also there. But as far as admission process is concerned in NIH is 50 percent is from outside the state, I think. So they may not have this type of disease. They may be having some other diseases. Some other people may be there. But fact is only 18 to 20 percent people are getting the employment. Remaining people are, if you go to Hyderabad, if somebody goes, as Ramra is concerned, there are two places where lakhs of people are moving in the name of learning the course. Say, for example, my father, I, I have completed my BTEC degree, I didn't get the job. So after completing my course, the neighboring people will <clears throat> always asking my father what your son is doing, what your daughter is doing. So this becomes a irritation to the parents. Then these people will send to the kids to the Hyderabad, learn something, be stay away from my house so that I will not be pitched. That is what is happening. Lots of people are there in Bangalore and Hyderabad. 
If you have any doubts, I can clarify to statisticians also. I will give. Lakhs of engineering graduates coming out every year, maybe around ten lakhs. Around four thousand and half engineering colleges. In Tamil Nadu and Andhra, almost thirty-two parts of the engineering colleges are there. Around eight thousand. 800 एट हंड्रेड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आंध्र सिंगर फिगर में भी तमिलनाडु आर्ट्स सो दिस इज दट बट कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी टू दिस कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी टू दि अबो सीनियो दट इज एट इंटू ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट एंप्लायमेंट वेरी फ्यू कॉलेज आफरिंग कैमिकल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल आंध्र प्रदेश इफ यू कम फ्रम श्रीकाकुम टू को Our Chittoor district. Previously, we are having a chemical engineering branch at Raja. Now it is closed. In Visakhapatnam, there are two colleges, three colleges are offering: GEP, Anit, and Campus College, Andhra University College. Where I always say I am a student of Andhra University Visakhapatnam. I will say why I am saying this afterwards. Then comes from Sir Abhinav, maybe an IT, that I will go down next. Talking about they are offering petroleum engineering, not the chemical engineering. Then if you move towards Gunto, then Gunto only, where I am working, R E R and J C College of Engineering is offering chemical engineering. Vigna U C is also there, but no admissions. Bapatla <laughs> closed. Then you go to Tirupati. Campus college is there. So these are the colleges offering Andhra University in the separated Andhra Pradesh. Very few colleges. So if you take the products from combined state of Andhra Pradesh, the total may be around nine hundred to thousand. These are the engineering products coming out from Andhra, combined state of Andhra Pradesh, not in the separate state of Andhra Pradesh. But if you take the total engineering graduates, it is chemical engineering graduates are very nominal. In addition to that, if you know it or not, or if you can ask your parents, there is a Negative propaganda is going on in the society that the opportunities for chemical engineers are very limited, and thereby, when you because generally parents or students wants to settle their life after completing the course, so if the chemical engineering people does not have any job opportunities or future, nobody will come forward to get admission, or no parent will. Come forward to get admission to their kids in chemistry learning. So this is a negative propaganda. If you go to Narayana or Chaitanya or some other way, computer is the best course. If you get admission in my college, you will get good rank in M set and you will get the admission computer course. Or any circuit branch. So parents are tempted, students are tempted to get admission in circuit branches, especially in computer science and engineering. Now, to enhance the number of sections in computer science, and they are putting some other names: computer science and engineering. IoT, Internet of Things, Computer Science and Engineering, Data Science, Computer Science and Engineering, some other X and Y, or in some colleges, say for example, Deemed to be Universities, they are admitting students for twenty sections, twenty five sections, losing the admission in four branches like. 
chemical, mechanical, electrical, and civil. No admission in four branches. Everybody is tempted to get admission in circuit branches. So this propaganda is still going on in the society. If you ask your parent, Hey Baba, you will get admission in chemical. You don't get the job. People are saying, your life is not going to be settled. So that propaganda is going on in the society. On the other hand, all the chemical engineering graduates, if you don't get any employment in this institute also, if you are a proper chemical engineer, please come to me. Within two days, I will provide you a job. But you must be a proper chemical engineer. That is most important. I am making this challenge in any college, wherever you go. If you don't get employment after graduation, you come to me. So that is my challenge. Open challenge. On the other hand, all the engineering graduates are getting employment, maybe either on campus or off campus. As far as my institute is concerned, since six years, 100% placements in campus. I am visiting New Zealand also. I am educating them also. New Zealand students are better than my students. I think we are all better than even New Zealand also. But a poor student, a non serious student getting admission in my college, he is getting the employment. Why you are not getting the employment? You get the employment. You are a serious, serious student. You got the admission in IITs, NITs, IIITs. The student is getting admission in my college, is getting the answer rank of 1 lakh, 1 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh 40,000. He is getting the employment. Why not you? So this is the propaganda which is going on in the society. I give an example here. Home and body requires different components in the different proportions. If you go to doctor with some illness, calcium is low, magnesium is low, or something is wrong in your body, something is higher, sugar is higher, BP is lower. So he will advise take more nutritious food or some other medicine in the form of substitute. So, home and body requires different components in different proportions, not all the same. Similarly, society also requires different components in different proportions. Maybe doctors, engineers, accountants, then management, chartered accountants, commerce people, lawyers. These are the different components which requires in society. Whether you are producing in the same proportionate, here, if you take more quantity than required, you will feel in a different way. Similarly, we are producing more graduates of engineers, which is not required, neglecting the other departments, whether you know it or not. There are 30,000 vacancies of chartered accountants in India. 30,000 chartered account courses are vacant in India. But lack of engineering graduates are applied and moving in the streets. So this is the imbalance in the society. Now the problem is computer. Okay, I do agree with you. In my view, computer cannot produce the product. This is the product. 
it cannot produce but it can computer program can enhance the quality of the product as well as the quantity of the product also in stuff sentence per day by using the computer control systems we can produce 20 tons per day more quality product also you can produce by utilizing the computer program but it cannot produce the product if you want to get the product you may require a chemical industry you may require a civil engineer you may require a mechanical engineer you may require a electrical engineer four branch is essential to get the physical product but i don't say computer science is not required i will say the computer course is required computer program is required to enhance the quality and the quantity of the product if you go to any chemical industry all chemical industries will have a it department also which is related to the, the product all heavy chemical industries will have the it department like r and d department an it department will be there it people will be there they are working on their products how to improve the quality how to improve the quantity so we how to utilize the program which is required for us say for example due to this bad propaganda bright students i don't say bright means serious students what i mean to say who are seriously doing their studies in intermediate or pre graduation they are getting better ranks in mcet or some other je or whatever it may be getting admission in computer certified branches those who are not serious i don't say academically weak students they are not serious somewhat lazy in our intermediate we are not concentrated these students are getting a higher rank in higher in that means numerical value i am saying and getting admission can clean it if you go to any private engineering college separate in my college why don't you take the other college as example a serious student in intermediate will be serious in graduation also a non serious student in intermediate is a non serious in undergraduation also so we will continue the same trend while doing the <coughs> btech also so serious students are getting the graduation degree with four branches non serious students are getting graduation degree in four branches that's why if you see the indian scenario the product quality and quality is going to be gradually depleting in india you can say the example i can say any country the economy of any country will be stable if the economy depends on production sector not the service sector service sector must be a part of production sector that's why whatever may be the political parties who are ruling the chinese economy is stable if you go worldwide Chinese products, in, including India, include America. I have visited ten to twelve times America. I have gone through different shops. All are made in China, made in India. My son purchased ten shirts for me. I have seen the label, made in Bangladesh. My daughter gets bed sheets from USA. It is all made in Delhi. Naira. No product is made by America. Everything is made by some other country. But we have seen three economic problems 
uh, in the USA now, it is serious problem is faced by America. Employment is going to be reducing the, by major countries, major companies, maybe Amazon, maybe Microsoft. All companies are trying to reduce their employment to reduce the burden, a financial burden. So it may be psychologically some people will suffer due to this. They don't know whether the job is tomorrow, the job will be there or not. That's the problem. But if you go to America or Canada or Australia or in India, a chemical engineer who is working in a chemical industry will be safe. He doesn't have any that concept. Tomorrow the job is not going to be lost. The job will be there. Because Whenever the, the economic growth is there, there, parallelly, the environment disturbance also will be there. Maybe sometimes large scale, sometimes maybe lower level. In 2004, Pondicherry Engineering College is organizing one seminar. I also one of the participants. The chief minister of Pondicherry, his name is Narayan Swami, I think, if my memory is correct. He inaugurated the program. He given an open statement. I am not going to allow any chemical industry in my state. The reason says chemical industry will create the pollution. Then he is a very simple man. We have approached him. Don't make any stumbling blocks of the chemical industries. But you put the condition. The emission should be this level. The pollution should be this level. You put some condition, but don't block the chemical industries. If you block the chemical industry, the state is going to be closer. The public is going to be closer. The people are going to be closer. So this concept, we are giving the statement is whenever the economy is improving, say for example, you are cutting a construct with a building here. That's still be there by the side. This is a pollution. If you are polluting a pharma product, the effect which is coming from the pharma product is a pollution to the land and water. But what condition you have to put? Treat it properly, then dispose it. If you go to Hyderabad, there is a common effluent treatment plant at Metla. All effluents from the pharma industry will become dumped into the Plan. So you can impose any conditions. Why I am saying is, whenever the economic growth is there, whenever the people are there, economic growth will be there. Whenever economic activity is going on, not the growth, economic activity is going on, automatically servants are going to be related. Wherever the pollution is there, it can be must be there. So in Telugu, some people may not understand. Prapanchamolo, Marshal Nantakalam, Economy Untun, Unantakalam, Pollution, Yantakantas, Nantakalam, Kempinian will be there. So, Marshal Nantakalam, Kempinian must, when this society is existing, chemical engine must be there. So, don't bother about chemical engine is not going to be killed. Nobody is going to kill the chemical engineering. It, it, they cannot do it. So that's what I want to say. <clears throat> so unnecessary, unrequired compound, they say, for example, seven, one lakh IT people may be required. We are producing six lakhs. We require 50,000 chemical heads, but we are producing 10,000. So insufficient number we are producing in the field of production sector, surplus graduates are producing in circuit branches. So there is an imbalance. At any time, like our body, the society has to readjust. It must be readjusted. So that's why the economic imbalance is coming 
once in five years, once in ten years, like that. Now, the worldwide people are afraid of economic problems. What is the chemical in my row? You will say whether it is right or wrong to my students. The first sentence which I say to my student is, chemical is a force industry. Compact, complex, comprehensive chemical industry. If you go to your laboratory, just now I have this day your laboratories. I have my own laboratories. Whatever the component present in your laboratory, all the components will present in your body. Every component. Maybe reactor, maybe heat exchanger, maybe one-way valve, maybe heater, maybe polar, maybe filter. Different types of valves at different places. Everything is there in our body. So if you try to understand your body by sitting silently or sleeping silently, you become a perfect engineer. No need of going to any place. If you are a sincerely, study your body. That's my concept. There is no much difference between a chemical engineer and a doctor. Doctor will operate on the human body. A chemical engineer will operate on human body parts. Not in, may not be living organisms. Sometimes doctors also fail, chemicals also fail. That's in the morning, some, some of the student is asking about our gas tablet. Doctor also, if you approach, sometimes he may not identify the proper dislocation. So, though we have properly approach the doctor in time, but you may not get the relief in time. Or sometimes there may be damage also. Similarly, chemical industry also will happen. At about 10 o'clock night, this is identified, Gopal, small leakage is identified. It is reported to the middle management, but the middle management is not properly acted. Then it goes to the beyond the control at about 12 o'clock or something like that. So the same thing is happening in hospitals also. The human errors. The hospital is also a human error, industry also a human error. So by seeing that we cannot feel bad or we have to forget react, how to print it, this is more important. Doctor also will learn the lessons from the parents. The patients. If more number of patients approach the doctor, you will become the perfect doctor. If more problems come to you in industry, you will become the perfect engineer. If you don't have any problems in the industry, sitting in your room, you will not become a engineer. So you have to face more number of problems. But only thing is, we should have a mind set up how to control it, how to rectify it. How to get the solution from that? That is the <clears throat> intention. Then coming to the opportunities. Chemicals are employed across in the morning. He is master. He is giving so many <clears throat> versions of opportunities. So I am not going to give all this again to get boring. Generally, continuous are employed across a wide range of businesses by both large and small companies. Continuous remains one of the best paying professions, this I can say. These people are saying, some Microsoft company or Amazon company coming and employing, getting 10 lakhs, 12 lakhs, something like that. 15 years back, a Leoji student from my institute got 11.2 lakhs per annum. That is Shell Company. 
15 years back, not now. If you want to verify, you can verify she is working in Bangalore now. She is working in Bangalore. So don't think that chemical is getting low, lower payment. But Renu Babu, he is also my student. Now he is getting 1.2 course per annum. He is a 2004 pass out batch. Or if you feel that we are saying the examples of 15 years, 20 years or something like that, what about the present? Even present also. Think and see if you go for oil, go in rain GC. You get MPGC, you get more pay than any other software companies. Most of the software companies will offer 2.4 lakhs per annum or something that they will you offer that or not the appointment letters. Be careful about it. All the engineering college students are getting offer letters, but not the appointment letters. If they get the, some project, then these people will get the appointment letter. Otherwise, Yes, together, this offer letter will be in your pocket. But the company is not, not, not like that. For the last two years, as for our my university or my this autonomous college, we are framing the syllabus. Eight, total eight semester is a industrial training, no theory course, no laboratory course, except project work. Last year or this year, I have requested the chemical industries who are where my students are also working. You please come in seventh semester, select your students, you took them to the training. You six thousand or eight thousand. Instead of giving twenty thousand per month after completing the course and training the students, you select the students, get them into the eighth semester training, you 6,000 pounds per month. Within six months, they will be trying. After the course is completed, they will be from the perfect chemical engineer who can earn the com for the company more than 20,000. They are doing it. Last year also, and the entire our my college, only chemical insurance got stipend, training, industrial training with stipend. Last year or this year? I am not exaggerating. You can come to my college and you can verify it also. Or if you go to Nakapalli, you see Neera. After three, you have a Nakapalli. Very hetero. Pharma company is there. 20, around 15 to 20 students are working there. Still, this year also. You can get the information. Even ESA also, even ESA, where I have verified, the majority of the students who are stick on to the continuing, not shifting to the software after going to ES, they are more peaceful, getting more. On an average salary, what I mean to say, you may say some X is getting 10 crores for an annum, that's a different matter. But on an average, Chemical engineering professional students who are settled at USA belongs to India are getting on average higher salary than other branches. I have that stint whenever I visited in that area, some of my students will be gathered, will spend one day, will interact them. That's my habit. This opportunity I got from my kids, not by my credit. It's the credit of my kids. So on an average salaries, either in USA or in Canada or in Australia, I have visited all these three countries. Ten things are getting more salaries. Every year they will get at least minimum 10 to 20 percent enhancement. Where my Fed is working in software, 3% enhancement, 2% enhancement, 
zero percent enhancement sometimes. <laughs> So this is the scenario as far as chemical engineering is concerned. Please feel free. My department is great. My parents are great. My family is great. My country is great. You start with your branch. My branch is great. Then automatically, you will get a feeling my parents are great. Because from your parents only you got this admission complete. So if you feel my branch is great, don't disgrace the other branches. First you feel my branch is great. I will give you an example. If you don't own your branch, you will be in trouble. Say for example, my father is having 100 acres of land. My neighbor is having one acre. Or rivers also. My neighbor is having 100 acres and my father is having well, one acre. If I feel, instead of my parents, if I belongs to the neighbor's son, I will be. Then what is the what is the happening? If you feel like that, your life is going to be miserable. Your life is going to be assassinated. So whether your father is a good position or in bad condition or in any condition you should feel my parents are great. Similarly, once you get the admission, before getting admission you can search for them as you like. Once you get the admission and enter into the department, then from the day onwards you should feel my branch is great. Then only you will concentrate on the topics, subjects, teachers, laboratories, classrooms, everything. If you don't feel my brand is great, you never concentrate because I might have got the admission in computer science. If my, my father is in a position to pay 10 lakhs, I might have got the computer science course. If that is your feeling, your life is going to be miserable. Whatever may be the reason, Whatever may be the financial condition, whatever may be the, your rank, once you get admission and accept into the department, you should feel my department is great, my parents are great, my institute is great. That's why I will always say in front of audience, I am a student of Honor University. Always. I feel proud to be say I am a student of Honor University. So you should also inculcate that habit, then your life will be yes. Chemical engineers works on areas such as chemicals, biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, food, energy, environment, consumer products, electronics, nanotechnology, advanced materials, and finance, what not, everything. From morning to evening, whatever the we are using is a chemical product. If you might have opportunity, you, you try to attend for a club lecture which is given by M.M. Sharma, the former director of UDC to Mumbai. He is around 85 or something there, but still he will be more energetic than me to give a lecture. If you sit for one hour, in his lecture, he will feel no branch is required, only chemical is required. He will start from the morning, but coffee, chemical product, paste, tooth, brush, everything. He will start from the morning and ending with the sleeping tablet. So we should feel great. We are producing the, what the society requires. Okay, I already covered these points. The last point, what I want to do, chemical engineers work to improve or enhance the quality life of the people. We are working for the improvement of quality of the people. 
most of the items used by people every day is produced by chemical engineers chemical engineers are helping to a starvation this is this is a perfect example of covid 19 whatever may be the medicine used for covid whatever may be the preventive items mask used for to prevent the covid 19 is the product of chemical industry we should feel privileged our pharma industry is produced medicine which is required by worldwide to prevent the covid they are working to save the environment by developing alternate technologies green technologies what i mean to say now also the worldwide the discussion is going on energy which type of energy green energy basically everybody is concentrating on hydrogen energy if anybody is having interest on energy field you please be concentrate on energy fields you will have a more better future there are two categories of people in the society one is good people other one is great people goodness belongs to heart greatness belongs to mind there are great scientists in the world but they all may not be good but all good people at one day or other day will become the great people so we got that opportunity teachers and doctors are got that opportunity if you are a good teacher if you are a good doctor definitely the teacher and doctor is going to become a great man if you have a human touch the teacher teaches with human touch will become a great teacher the doctor with a human touch will become a great doctor so all chemical engineers who are struggling to solve the society problems solving the salvation problem solving the dcs is going to be good people some other day or one day or other day is going to become the great people i hope we are all going to become a great people thinking that we are all good i don't have any hesitation if i speak anything wrong if i feel if i convince i am saying wrong i don't have any hesitation to withdraw my words chemical engineers by profession who are working with ethical values i told you proper chemical engineer in the beginning if you are a proper chemical engineer this chemical engineering with ethical values is the one of the parameter to decide whether it is a proper chemical engineer or not there are certain engineers who will not work anything all the people are working but if the positive thing is going on then he will take the credit if wrong is going then he will push on the surrounding that should not be there either right or wrong when you are leading the team we should take the responsibility that is more important so i'm coming to the andhra pradesh because i belong to andhra i have to say something about the andhra pradesh as for andhra pradesh is concerned after separation from telangana new industries are going to be established in the field like pharma oil and natural gas etc because godavari basin pharma industries in vijaya and some other places new establishments are coming my appeal to all of you is to educate the society by countering the negative propaganda and convince the parents and students to opt to chemical engineering for the better future better family and better society that's my appeal that's I, i have in the first part of my lecture these are the industries which are offering employment for the numerous industries you can see now i will come to the second part till now i am a teacher now i am a iic council member
India Ministry of Communities is the apex of professional body of chemical engineering in India. Like MCA, Medical Council of India, campaigns we are having the Indian Ministry of Chemical Engineers. This will have 21 elected body members all over India. Fortunately, I'm also one of the elected council member for the second time. So, because I'm a committee, I got this opportunity. Otherwise, I never get this opportunity to elect a national level body. Now, the reason for this I want to say in the morning, everybody is saying all speakers. Interaction. Say, for example, Sunil is there. And Sar is also there. You should understand the benefits of the interaction. I came from a small village near Nalamala Pass. I never see the bus up to my 10th class. I never see the physically train. My village does not have any transportation. If I want to go to the side village, I have to go to walk only. So, high school is 8 kilometers away from my village. I have to go morning 8 kilometers, again I have to come back by 8 kilometers. After my 10th class, I have seen physically the train. Why I am saying this is? Though I came from a very backward area, no communication, no transport is available. But luckily, I got a seat at Andhra University, in my apartment, in my VTEC. Then my interaction started with the teachers. Knowingly, innocently, I asked some question to the teacher. Previously, this type of attitude may not be there. But innocently, I asked questions. So that made me to interact with the teachers. Teachers also felt some of the teachers, the real teaching teachers, what I mean to say. There are two categories of teachers. One is teaching teachers, other one is not teaching teachers. Teaching teachers are always like the questions are doubts from the students. They will invite, but not the non-teaching teachers. They will say something to the blackboard and move away. But teaching teachers are not like that. They never see the blackboard. If they are unless otherwise it is required, then only they will see the blackboard. Always they will see the students, audience. So in that way, I was attracted at Andhra University. I have more interaction with the teachers. After that also, in my profession, my institute is given opportunity to go different places to get good teachers like Sunil. He is with me for three years or four years. So, I have gone to different places. I brought A class equipment. Say, for example, process control laboratory equipment. In 1998, I spent 16 lakhs on process control laboratory. If still, if you want to come to Chela Guntur, I will show my process control laboratory. Where I got it? Because my management given the opportunity to go in around different places to interact with the different people, to interact with the um, different locations. So interaction is more important. That's why I like more the visual students than my students. If you go to visual and never I got the opportunity. Students are <coughs> bombarding with the questions. They like the interaction with the people. Myself also spend some time with them. Whether it is necessary or not, I psychological I will stay there. So that must be the student attitude. That must be the teacher attitude. So this way I'm saying is. 
to elect for a national body my attitude is one of the reason my attitude is to interact with this world different people so here also they have to there one whole can will be received by we know something what is the activity which are going on here what is the activity which you are doing even <coughs> your interest in your register is also a close friend of me pray to getting coming over here at anandpur also dinesh so i made the friendship with the younger people as well as the older people I told you, Ramam Sharma. He is 1985. I have interacted with three times. Then, the last edition I went to Kanpur to attend for the Kirtan. I went to IIT. Spent some time. I went to some other places. I have gone to the laboratories. So, interaction will enhance your knowledge. <laughs> Expose your opinions. Other people also benefited. You are also going to be benefited. So always interaction is more important than anything. Even in class also. If I say complete my lecture to the blackboard, nothing will happen. If I interact with the student, at least those students who are interested to interact will get benefit. myself also will be pass students are more knowledgeable than me whether you accept it or not i am an old man i am not updated man my next generation is generally enriched more than me so students will have more knowledge than me as for example simple maybe misuse or right use cell phone you can use better than me cell phone i can use cell phone only to receive the call and to send the colors up the meaning since i don't know but you can do anything miracles you can do you can get everything knowledge from the cell phone you can ask the google you can ask siri you can ask somebody get information so interaction will benefit mutually myself as well as yourself so that made me to become the national council member i am a teacher from a private institution but i got the opportunity so this is the benefit of even due to that my institute my students are getting benefited i know so many interesting people this is what happened being a council member and also vice president last year we have arranged the online training program for students we have identified 20 to 25 organizational member industries as well as institutions a class teachers a class professionals part of the training those who are participated in the online training program they are well benefited so this is a first time we have organized the iicc organized the online training program thrice not once in covid times thousands of chemical students benefited due to this no branch organized this type of activity only committee members Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. <coughs> so there are 46 regional centers in our state that is 
ఆంధ్ర ప్రదేశ్ వన్ ఈస్ వాల్టే రీజనల్ సెంటర్ అదర్ వన్ ఈస్ అమరావతి రీజనల్ సెంటర్ వాల్టే రీజనల్ సెంటర్ ఈస్ బేస్డ్ అట్ వైజాగ్ విజాఖపట్నం అండ్ అమరావతి రీజనల్ సెంటర్ ఈస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ గుంటూరు అండ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ హైదరాబాద్ రీజనల్ సెంటర్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ సో లైక్ దట్ యూఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ రీజనల్ సెంటర్స్ అండ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ టూ స్టూడెంట్ చాప్టర్స్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ది ద మెంబర్షిప్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఏ స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫెలో లైఫ్ మెంబర్ లైఫ్ అసోసియేట్ మెంబర్ స్టూడెంట్ మెంబర్స్ అండ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ మెంబర్స్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ మెంబర్స్ ఇండస్ట్రీ మే బికమ్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ మెంబర్ ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఆల్సో మే బికమ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ మెంబర్ సో ఇఫ్ ది ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఆర్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ఈస్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ మెంబర్ they will get additional benefit when the nat company is visiting or mba company is visiting that is the advantage the institute for the prince the chemical engineering profession in india wherever the government requires any thing related to chemical they will take the feedback from the iacht indian star companies this is a professional body many members of the institute serve to various technical companies that is all nat company members nba company members or some government organizations when now the vaidag polytechnic college is wants to start a some applied courses fortunately i also one of the member of that company so you will have a opportunity to become the members since iisc is a recognized forum of chemical engineers in india membership of institute itself is considered as a professional accomplishment of the person yes i am a member in chemical engineer chemical institute of engineers like i am a student of andhra university i can say i am a member of iisc a member can gain so i already have told you different benefits of membership so if you, the faculty and students become the members when our interaction activity is going on say for example i am going to organize a program or you are going to organize a program or some other institute is going to organize a program you will be allowed to attend physically or online with free of cost or sometimes nominal cost do not pay the prescribed registration fee if you are a member there is a specifically students campaigning in congress yes can come there is name of in a district yes can come students can come campaigning in congress this year nit varangal is the host organization whether you have attended anybody or not i don't know we can interact with the people with the teachers with the students we can know what is going on in different places even at kanpur can can also more than 150 papers are penned by the students of course guide is teacher because kemka one teacher must be there and the others in the skm kan all students no teacher is not going to be in our only students all others must be students so in the absence of teachers 150 papers are presented by the students at kanpur temkan so canadian people will come american people will come australian people will come you can interact <coughs> so you can know what is going on in the other places what are the job opportunities what are the future higher education opportunities what are the opportunities in the america because american delegation will come to kemkan or skm kan canadian delegation will come australian delegation will come we can interact with them what is the opportunities higher education opportunities in india in this place so all this is going to be missing by your attitude that it is the sense not becoming a member after all to become a student member 500 plus 18 percent 
GST. How much is it a nowadays? Is not. Say, for example, I have started my student chapter in my institute in 2004. From 2004 till now, 100% students are the members every year. 100%. And I'm very happy to say, when I'm introducing, I got five times the student, as a coordinator of the student chapter, I got five times national award. As the honorary secretary of Amrava Training Center, I got five times, not three times, five times I got the best regional center award. I got five times student chapter awards. The advantage of student chapter is, if you are the Best Amuja student chapter. In addition to the certificate memento, you'll get 15,000 to organize some programs in, in your institute. Money also you'll get available for the student chapter for concern. So this is all due to the activities. Whenever the activities, you'll have the opportunity to interact. Whenever you have the opportunity to interact, you know what's going on in the world. Your future is going to be... <coughs> Decided on this sometimes. That's why a member can numerous seminars participate, join in seminars, symposia, workshops, training programs. That's what I told you. Some are training programs which we have arranged. IACH. Special lectures. Now, as a IACH member, I will invite Vinod or Dinesh to my institute to give a interact with my students. I will ask them, I will come to your institute, I will interact with the students. They may not invite me, but I, my side I will ask them. Similarly, I can do many times to Nozhi Vidu or Andhra Institute or some other places. Even in ESC also, in Telugu Dresi, I have to do a lot of work in Telugu Dresi. I request each and every professor in the university because in ESA you cannot enter the university without the permission of some professor. So after two days, some professor will give permit permission. Then after entering it, sir, I want to interact with the students. So that is my attitude. I have learned many things from the students. The students may not learn from me, but I have learned many things from the students. So this is the advantage. The participation in such programs is either free or many, many may involve a subsidized fee. That's what I told you. This is regarding the corporate members. A member of the institute may have membership of many similar institute, institutes in other countries at a reduced fee. If you want to become an American Engineering Society member, you need not pay $100, you may require $50. So if you are a member in one country, there is a coordination between the two societies, American Institute of Engineers and Indian Institute of Engineers. The Indian can become the American finished of engineer membership with subsidy rate, or American also get subsidy rate. That is a, <clears throat> that is ChemCons and yes, ChemCons. A yes, student members may be participated in seminars specifically meant for them. That is yes, ChemCon. They can participate not only yes, ChemCon. If you are organizing now, in fact, I requested you know to have a online that is. A, I think it is going on. Students from my institute sitting in a seminar hall. And previously, when my institute organized the endowment lecture in my name, you are all participated. So you will have interaction, maybe online or offline. There are some activities going on, you will be benefited. That is the advantage. Finally, I appeal to all of the committee 
chemical engineers means maybe teachers who are not members of iisat and students of chemical engineering who are not at enrolled as members requested to join as a members and strengthen the organization and strengthen yourself also so without any resistance please be become a iisat student members i will show you the benefit which you are going to get after becoming it i don't say that if you are not a member you are not going to get the benefit you will get the benefit but as a member you will have more benefits than non member so if i am a proper appealer if my appeal is proper i hope almost all students will become the student members within one week or 10 days that's my <clears throat> purpose of visit of this institute that today and teachers who are not at members i request all teachers to become the iisat if your age is less than 35 you will become the associate member with reduced registration fee or if it is 35 you will have to pay the full 7000 for students previously when i was not a member only student membership is valid only two years now when i elected in 2015 then that is extended till the end of your student life if once you become the student member in your first year if you do your use and pg till the end of pg also will be the member that is the once you become the member permanently till the your education is completed you will be the member of student member of that institute that is the advantage so this is my appeal to all of you and what i told you the data opportunities in esa how the enhancement is going on this is only natural i also in with this once again i would like to convey my sincere and heartfelt thanks to the members of iisat and the department of engineering nit ap tadi pelagodam for giving me this opportunity to share my views with you thank you thank you one all now you can interact related to whatever i say maybe i'm trying or then some member can interact with me thank you without any education I need to put one. We are having some inferiority complex, including myself. If I say something, it may be right or wrong. When I am writing the examination, if you have that mind, you cannot answer the question. So we start with the positive attitude. Maybe don't think it is a silly doubt. Calm down. Doubt is doubt. Clarification is clarification. No attack for the silly or reasonable. Now I request you know that. and so for the students from tomorrow on board please make them as a student members that is feeling of a number of number of ways it should you will know how to do have it benefits out of the number thank you Thanks. Now, now I want you to come to Guntur side. Please come to my institute. Where the teachers are students. Anybody is from Guntur? From the audience? Are you studying? Are you at this? Any time? Yes. Thank you. Now, whenever you visit your place, you please come again. I will not be available in the. Down. Today I will be doing 
doing a uh, untactful job and doing examinations that is not related to academics, but possibly I'm doing an unwanted job. Thank you so much, sir, for your insightful talk. Now, I'm going to talk to Vinod Kumar Raja, head of the department, and all the faculty members of the Chemical Engineering Department to join to help state Dr. Venkatesh Mehra for the presentation. We will talk short and soon. <laughs> Mr. Chiranjeevulu worked at Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited for 24 years in Quality Control Department and retired as Chemical Man Chief Manager. He has vast expertise in refinery and petrochemical industry in various sectors like product certification, quality audits, obtaining regulatory approvals, recruitment, training of staff members, etc. Mr. Chiranjeevulu was instrumental in undertaking different facilities in MRPL like establishing polypropylene testing lab, ATF facilities at MRPL, advanced testing equipment, and his leadership. And under his leadership, the first Euro 4 products certified and released in market by MRPL. He has rich experience in managing and handling the quality control team with in-depth knowledge in petroleum products and its specifications. He has well-versed experience in conducting training and counseling sessions for organization members. Now I request Mr. Sirenjiulu to deliver his talk on the topic crude oil processing and manufacturing of finished petroleum products as per the latest specifications. I welcome you. Respected head of the department, Sri Dr. Vinod Kumar Raja, and other dignitaries and uh, the speakers of today's uh, program, and my dear students. Good evening to all. 
So I have come from the industry and uh, you know that the petroleum and petrochemical industries uh, uh, today's scenario in India and uh, the major uh, strength of the industry around 60% more than 60% are chemical engineers in petroleum sector. If you see that So, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Government of India. Hello? Hello? Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Government of India is responsible for crude oil exploration, production, refining, distribution, marketing, import, export, conservation of petroleum products. The sector is divided into two streams. One is upstream and other one is downstream projects. Upstream projects identify oil and gas deposits in drill wells and recover crude oil from the earth crust. The major players in India are Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, ONGC, Reliance Industries, Oil India, Lost and Tubro Limited, LNT, and British Petroleum. These are the organizations who are exploring the crude oil. Because the subject is more relevant and useful for your career opportunities whenever you uh, face the interview or a written test after your graduation. Downstream projects are nothing but refineries. They will process the crude oil, whatever comes out from the earth crust and they will refine into different products depending on the carbon number from C1 to C15 and so on. The distillation, distillation is the process of evaporation followed by condensation. That is the simple definition of the, what you call definition of the distillation. Whereas the refineries are working on fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is separation of hydrocarbon mixture into its components. Because if you want C5 up to pentane, you can separate it. That is called the fractional distillation. Whatever you want, the cut temperature of the final boiling point is very, very important. If you take LPG, it will have 15 degrees centigrade. Above 15 degrees centigrade, it will not be in what you call liquid form. The petroleum refinery, the typical diagram, the time is very constrained, so I'll go a little bit fast. Crude oil is a mixture of volatile liquid hydrocarbon, what you call liquid hydrocarbon, composed of 82 to 87 percent of carbon and 12 to 15 percent of hydrogen. That is the composition of the crude oil. And some impurities will be there, nitrogen and sulfur. Sulfur is a major impurity because you know that at present BS6 has come into the picture. BS6 products in metropolitan cities that should not have more than 10 ppm sulfur in the petrol or diesel. That is the specification BS6. Before that, BS4 was there. Now, BS6 is implemented in metropolitan cities. BS4 is 50 ppm, whereas BS6 is only 10 ppm because to reduce the emissions in the atmosphere. The classification of crude oil, heavy crude oil, medium crude oil, and light crude oil, depending on the API gravity. API gravity is based on density again. If the density is more, your API gravity will be less. If your density is less, then API gravity will be more. Because for classification, whenever you take crude oil into your refinery, then you should know the classification. That's why I have put this slide. 
the density bsnw total sulfur and salt content are the main uh, impurities and the requirement for analyzing by chemical engineer that is these four parameters are very important in crude oil when you go to offshore or onshore or refinery the refinery configuration is very uh, this one this is uh, what you call configuration and the line diagram if you take that the crude oil goes to the fractional fractionation column that is called cdu then it will give lighter products to the top top of the column and the heavier products will come down heavier products will go to the other column there are a lot of uh, configuration is there one by one if you want uh, deeply then it will take a lot of time but the time constraint is also there for me so little bit fast i will go okay the operation units in refinery or crude distillation unit vacuum distillation unit bitumen unit mercaptans oxidation mercaptans are the impurities of sulfur and the hydrogen unit catalytic cracking and uh, reforming unit that is required for conversion of naphtha into petrol petrol will not come directly from the refinery column or distillation column naphtha only will come naphtha will feed is a feed stop to the catalytic cracking and reforming units is here where all the paraffins will be converted into aromatics the process is conversion of paraffins into aromatics that's why octane number will be more for petrol whereas octane number will be very less in naphtha that is the difference between naphtha and petrol today onwards i request you all don't call it as petrol petrol means rock helium means oil it is not rock oil it is a petrol it is a motor gasoline the technical term for the petrol is motor gasoline the diesel hydro treating unit power plant hydrogen plant sulfur recovery coker unit oil moment and supplies waste water treatment this many units are there for you to work that's why i told 60% of the total strength if you take 2000 people then 1600 people will be chemical engineers in any, in any refinery in any petroleum refinery or petrochemical complex or integrated refinery or perm what do you call that petrochemical complex also because every operation will be done by the chemical engineer that is the importance of the chemical engineer in petroleum sector cd crude distillation unit for the first unit where distillation takes place and the residue will go to the next column that is vacuum distillation column this is vacuum distillation column to give the final end product that is bitumen or tar in general people call it as tar we call it as bitumen and now the value added product has come bitumen when market is not there then what is the market condition based on that we can produce the coke coke is having more uh, value and value addition because in cement industries or any furnaces coke is having more demand that's why now the refineries are upgrading their projects to make the coke delayed coker unit has come into the picture then bitumen unit coker unit merox unit this all the definitions are there it converts the vacuum residue into bitumen by air blowing and coker uh, unit it converts the vacuum residue into low molecular weight hydrocarbon gases naphtha gas oil and petroleum coke final product is petroleum coke and the merox unit it sweetens the petroleum product we can take the uh, what you call aircrafts uh, this parameter is very important mercaptans oxide uh, mercaptans uh, presence in the atf aviation turbine fuel flights all the parts are made up of uh, what you call silver when mercaptans are present silver mercaptans will form that will get damaged engines that's why mercaptan sulfur as low as possible the flight fuel that is atf aviation turbine fuel should be should not be less than 20 ppm of mercaptan sulfur that is the specification of indian standard then ccr i have already told you catalytic cracking and reforming unit converts the naphtha into petrol or motor gasoline or motor spirit there are two names motor gasoline is a technical name 
General name is motor spirit. You might have seen the trucks. That side they will write motor spirit or motor gasoline. They will not write petrol. And the fluid catalytic the cracking unit converts the heavier fractions into lighter product. DHDT. At present, again, if you see the BS6, 10 ppm is required, sulfur. But as such from column, the product will not come 10 ppm. For that, DHDT is required. You will add hydrogen into the what you call this unit, there is a catalyst is present. In the presence of catalyst and temperature, that total sulfur will be converted as HDS, will come out from the column. Then uh, hydrogen, hydrocracker, power plant. O minus, that is receiving the, what you call crude oil and supplying the final product to the different uh, pipelines and uh, ships. ETP, effluent treatment plant, this is very important. Again, your importance is much, much more um, what you call concentration and the focus is required for chemical engineer. Effluent, it should not go out, out of the refinery. When it goes out of the refinery, then it should not affect to the atmosphere, it should not affect to the human beings, it should not affect to the aquatic animals. If it goes to the sea, water, then aquatic animals may die if it is phenol, phenolic components or more, if hydrogen sulfide is present. So that is very important, ETP, effluent treatment plant. So service department, quality control, technical services, fire and safety, health, safety and environment, mechanical maintenance, inspection, instrumentation, electrical, civil, HR, materials, marketing, IS, information systems, and documentation. These are the secondary or supporting departments to the operations. Refinery products, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. It is not liquid petroleum gas. It is liquefied petroleum gas. There is a difference. When you pressurize the gas under the pressure, that will be, that will be in liquid form. That's why it is liquefied petroleum gas. Light naphtha, heavy naphtha, motor gasoline, kerosene, aviation, turbine fuel, that is for flights, as I, uh, I, as I have already told you, and vacuum, gas oil, fuel oil, vitamin, and sulfur. Sulfur is the byproduct. The LPG, the top temperature is 15 degrees centigrade. The crude oil, when, you, when it uh, takes the separation, when it takes the distillation, 0 to 15 degrees, whatever cut comes after C4, butane. That's why it is called butane-rich gas. Up to C4, C1, C2, C3, C4 will be there in LPG. Above C4, that, uh, what you call pentane onwards, it will not be there in LPG. 80% butane will be there. Light naphtha up to 100 degrees centigrade, heavy naphtha 150, kerosene 250 degrees, HSD 375, and VZO is an intermediate product which will go to hydro cracking unit. Again, cracking takes place and finished products will come out from the VZO. It is like uh, Grease. Suppose if you see grease, that will be like a heavier, heavier product and color will be yellow, in yellowish color. The final product is bitumen, that is 550 plus degrees centigrade. The temperature of that product, these are the temperatures. Separation in the column, if you see separation, up to 15, up to 100, up to 150, up to 250, up to 375 and 500. 50 and above 550. Final residue will be 550. A typical breakup of the crude oil. When you take a, what you call 1 kg of crude oil, you will have 2% of LPG, 12% of naphtha, 14% of kerosene, and 25% of HSD, 25% of VZO, intermediate product, and 22% of vitamin. This is the typical breakup of the raw material into finished products in refinery. LPG storage tanks will be in spherical form. You may be aware of that, why it is not cylindrical form. Spherical form, uniform pressure will be there. When cylindrical form, uniform pressure cannot be maintained. That is the reason spheres are what you call meant for LPG, to maintain equivalent, equalized or equal pressure across the vessel. This is other products other than LPG. Then specifications, Indian standards. That is IS 4576 meant for LPG. 
मोटर गैसोलीन आई एस टू सेवन नाइन सिक्स किरोसिन आई एस वन फोर फाइव नाइन एविएशन टर्पाइन फ्यूल आई एस वन फाइव सेवन वन एंड हाई स्पीड डीजल आई एस वन फोर सिक्स जीरो फ्यूल आई एस वन फाइव नाइन थ्री पीटी में आई एस सेवेंटी थ्री आर दी स्टैंडर्ड स्पेसिफिकेशंस व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू व्हेन यू गो टू दी पेट्रोकेमिकल और पेट्रोलियम इंडस्ट्री द व्हाट यू कॉल द द पैरामीटर्स द पैरामीटर्स एंड द टॉलरेंसेस शुड बी ऑन योर फिंगर टिप्स व्हेदर द प्रोडक्ट इज पासिंग और फेलिंग बेस्ड ऑन दिस स्पेसिफिकेशन यू हैव टू डिसाइड then it refinery is today's today's indian scenario what is the petroleum uh, the india's current crude oil refining capacity is 249 uh please um, india's current capacity is 249.9 million metric tons per annum The crude oil processing capacity of the total refineries, including private and joint venture firms and government organizations, the uh, Indian Oil Corporation is having. These are the Paradip refinery, 15 million metric tons; Panipat refinery, 15 million metric tons; Gujarat refinery, 13.7 million metric tons; Haldia refinery, 7.5 million metric tons; Baroni refinery at uh, Bihar, 6 million metric tons per annum. Gohati refinery of some one million metric ton, Dikboy refinery point six five, Madhra refinery Uttar Pradesh eight million metric. These are all the boy what you call Indian oil corporation organizations across the country. You may be selected any one of the organization because Indian oil corporation is having this many refineries um, throughout the country, right? Next, HPC is having two organizations. One is uh, Mumbai Refinery, Maharashtra, 7.5 million metric tons per annum, and Vishaka Refinery, 8.3 million metric tons per annum at Vishaka Patnam. These two refineries belong to Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. And BPCL, Bharat Petroleum Corporation, is having two refineries: Kochi Refinery and Mumbai Refinery, 15.5 and 12 million metric tons respectively. So when this is having two refineries, one is at uh, Mangalore, uh, Mangalore refinery in Petrochemicals Limited. It, uh, it is an integrated petrochemical complex. Also there is the very biggest refinery, biggest refinery in this very big refinery with integrated petrochemical complex. They are making polypropylene also along with petroleum products. Mangalore refinery in Petrochemicals Limited, Karnataka, 15 million metric tons. Uh, Tadi Bhaga refinery, Andhra Pradesh, 0.06. Small, very small refinery, 0.066 million metric ton. CPCL, Manali, uh, Tamil Nadu, 10.5 million metric tons. Nagapatnam, their small uh, unit also there, 1 million metric tons in Tamil Nadu. Nimali Ghar refinery, that is BBCL in uh, Oil India, Assam government. Together they put one refinery that is 3 million metric tons per annum. In our refinery, these two are uh, these two are joint venture firms, joint venture companies. Bina Refinery, Bina in MP, Madhya Pradesh. That is Bina Refinery, Bharat Women Refineries, Bharat BPCL and Women together they put. That's why the name is Bharat Women Refineries. It is at uh, Madhya Pradesh, 7.8 million metric tons. Recently, it is commissioned for your information. And HML Burgovind Singh Refinery, HPCL and Metal, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation and Metal Energy together they put one joint venture company that is called HML. That is 11.3. This is also established and commissioned very recently. Very recently, this refinery. And RIL, you are you may be aware of that. Reliance Industries Limited and SRIL, 20 million metric tons per annum. These are the crude oil processing capacity. Major crude oil reserves in the world: Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Russia, Libya, United States, and Nigeria in the country, um, in the in the world. And India: Rajasthan, Gujarat, Mumbai, Hai, Krishna, Godavari Basin, and Assam. These are the um, Indian assets, crude oil assets. 
job opportunities for chemical engineering students. Uh, sir, already have discussed this subject. Uh, the uh, chemical industries you have petrochemical sector, mining, petrochemical industries, petroleum sector, biotechnology, nuclear power plants, pharmaceutical industries, metal industries, copper and pulp industries, polymer industries, fertilizer plants, R&D labs. Your requirement is there in R&D labs also, educational institutions for professors, as professors. <laughs> So these are the job opportunities. If we have the knowledge, talent, um, uh, sir already told that uh, regarding this one, if you have the talent, if you have the knowledge, and if you have the observation of very small, minute, um, what do you call differences in your subject, uh, I'm sure that um, getting job is not a big task in any premier public sector unit. Premier public sector unit, not other industries. I'm not talking about any other industry. Premier public sector industries. That is the top layer of the industries. You have already told that that your starting salary will be one lakh as a trainee also today. You know or not, I don't know. Then um, this petrochemicals. Petrochemicals are the chemical products obtained from petroleum by a refining process. Feed stocks are Petroleum products only feed stocks to the petrochemical. Petrochemicals are mainly of two types, olefins and aromatic types. Olefins are ethylene, propylene, aromatics are benzene, toline, and xylene isomers. Xylene isomers are metaxylene, paraxylene, and orthoxylene. And uh, uh, olefins are and aromatics are the feed stocks for petroleum industry to produce solvents, detergents, adhesives, polymers, resins, fibers, lubricants, and gels. These are the petrochemical industries. There also, um, you, you have a lot of uh, scope and opportunity. The evaluation, uh, evaluation of the petrochemical, this is oil and gas. As we have already discussed that uh, petroleum, um, what you call crude oil, and from there, butane, naphtha, condensate, feedstock, natural gas, propane, and ethane. These are the products will come out when you do the distillation and it will go and uh, basic chemicals will form propylene, ethylene, butylene, ammonia, butyrylene, uh, methanol, aromatics. These things will form from that particular feedstuff and, and so on. You just see the chemical intermediate, stearine, ethylene, isobutylene, uh, acrylonitrile, glycerin and others. And from there, if you see the final products, industrial chemicals, uh, what do you call paints and coatings, synthetic rubber, explosives, resins, and uh, forms, dyes, adhesives, plastics, synthetic fibers, uh, soaps, and detergents. And finally, where is the usage? Uh, then uh, see that what you call clothing, packaging, uh, then appliances. Appliances means uh, home appliances. Then electronics, office and industrial equipment. Petrochemicals, uh, pharmaceuticals, and uh, personal uh, care, consumer products, building materials, furniture, health care, air and space. These are the products evolving from the petrochemicals, from the feedstock of petroleum products. Right? Clear? The roles and responsibility of a chemical engineer in any industry, whatever we have discussed. In there. So that is only one, one part. You will get the job and how you will get and all these things. But here, the roles and responsibility. What is your roles when you get a job? So they provide the technical support to maintain safe and reliable operations, monitor quality of products at all stages, implement new ideas to improve efficiency of operating units, develop safety programs to promote safe working environment, analyze root cause for operational problems and define solutions. This is very important. Work with cross-functional teams, means, means you have to work with electrical, mechanical, civil, with all the departments, cross-functional teams to get your work done. Then continuously try to meet the company objectives. Company will set some objectives to you every once in three months or once in a month or once in a year. The targets you have to achieve, you have to reach. And follow up with statutory and regulatory requirements. Statutory and regulatory, you may be aware of that. Taking licenses from 
boilers, taking licenses, what you call getting, obtaining licenses from the, what you call explosives and other things. That is called all regulatory and statutory requirements. And following that ISO, ISO also, ISO, if you, if you obtain ISO 9001 quality management system, ISO 14001 for environmental management system, ISO 50001 recently has come environmental management system. If you have this, then you have to submit all the documents once in a year and get the, what you call license renewed from TUV in India. TUV is taking care of ISO. Lot of uh, things are there in that. Okay, um, due, due to time constraints, I cannot able to explain uh, ISO. Uh, this one. Follow up with statutory and regulatory ensure compliance with HSE, health, safety, and environment. This is very important. If any cattle accident or any somebody uh, what do you call fell down in the duty, then you will be responsible. That's why health, safety, and environment. As health, safety, and environment is very important when you work in any industry. Leakages of gases, leakages of any unwanted materials, or skipping, what you call slipping or slipping on the floor because of uh, spillage of oils. Then ensure compliance with HSC regulations. There are some regulations, health, safety, and environment. Uh, ensure uh, calibration of the equipment well before the due date. This is very important. The calibration is not there means then there may be a chance of error and uh, it, it may lead to the uh, what you call wrong uh, um, uh, wrong results also. Provide training to technical staff. Your duty is one of that. You have to provide the training to the your technicians. Technicians may be diploma holders or newly joined graduates also. You have to give the training to them on weekly basis or Monthly basis. Thank you. Any questions, please? On behalf of students of I request Jerry Yulagar to say four some source that a company is working for a long time in industry. So we can ask you or we can ask the industry people to come to this institute for recruitment because the government agencies are Mindset, as far as consult is concerned, if I got a government job, I will be secured by that. We are having that mindset. So, he has worked in a government sector for a long time. So, he is having more <coughs> interaction with the different people. And he belongs to this area. So, combining all these factors on behalf of you and myself, request to him to pay some part for the students of the industry. That's my request. Thank you, sir, for your uh, this uh, particular advice uh, session. Um, at present, uh, you are all aware of the eight qualifying uh, examination. Mm -hmm. Earlier, uh, you can call some leadership. Uh, very three and three me day of the industries uh, called uh, an and and uh, uh, asked to take them. Uh, but uh, now you are, you are, you are all uh, knowing that uh, eight qualifying. Now earlier uh, um, the government industries they used to call the applications through paper or uh, through website, uh, and after that uh, scrutinizing, sixty five percent was the benchmark to uh, what do you call separate the applications. About 65 percent they used to call for uh, written test. After uh, getting the um, uh, written test complete, after completing the written test, they used to see that top to bottom the marks. And uh, if uh, there is a uh, 10 posts are available, then they used to call 100 people, one is to 10 ratio. 
after coming major people then uh, they used to do best to best interview and uh, select 10 people from the 100 that was the procedure uh, um, uh, before that uh, last um, three, four years i think four, yeah four five years back this uh, uh, they have uh, uniformly it's called unique that right? time yeah. Great qualifying people, they are not putting any examination. If you qualify in the gate, then uh, you can put your application. So they will not give any examination. They will uh, they will call you for face-to-face -face interview. So they will do face-to-face -face interview once they once you are good in uh, your subject. There will be five people for your information uh, again the board. Five people will be there from the company, two from the institutes like Vinod Kumar. Sorry, there is no Vinod Kumar Raja, like from chemical English, will they call chemical engineering uh, departments for subject point of view. And the HR team will be there for uh, uh, your background. Background is uh, what is your father, mother, and then if you come to the uh, how best you can give your uh, what you call outcome to the organization. Or otherwise, how you will uh, resolve the problems. There, there will be a lot of problems will be there. You know that there are a lot of problems. unions. Uh, unionized people will be there uh, for the people. So that, um, that also has to be handled by the uh, the engineers uh, because uh, first level, uh, first level, uh, front level uh, management people, you are all. Front level only it will come because when you see that uh, what you call in control room, somebody is operating uh, the this one, what you call by operator on the wall. So he has not used the name F type or range. You know that F type. There will be two legs will be there that handle will go vertical. In between that wheel will go and then they will pull that round wheel opening. They don't have this. F type. Uh, second one will be small. That will go to the uh, circle and then after that, when you open, that one will be open. For example, clockwise and anti-clockwise. There are two things, hydrogen uh, and other things, uh, anti-clockwise. You know that the beginning is also should know. Oxygen cylinders will be opened uh, clockwise. Hydrogen cylinders has to be opened by anti-clockwise. Suppose if you put Clockwise and use, then that spindle will come out. That is the then pattern accidents will happen. A lot of things are there. If you have if you ask the subject, then we can take complete um, morning to evening one by one uh, this one because that small uh, identification is very important. That's what I told. Should be very very uh, call, keen observer, keen observer, and you should have a lot of knowledge. Um, for the uh, before operating any unit, without uh, knowing, uh, don't go to any of the wall operation or in like that. And the, uh, the lot of resources will happen. Uh, there's a compatibility is there. Suppose um, you know that some of the things are not compatible. Not compatible. If you take solvent and put it with the acid. Then there is a chance of getting fire. If you take acetone, it's a solvent, then put it at a nitric acid bottle near nitric acid bottle, what will happen? You see that. So that's why you should be aware of that where to keep, how to keep. Handling of the chemicals is also one of the chapters which you should be aware of. That. So, um, so, I have come out from the actual uh, topic. So, get qualifying people. They will not ask any question, whatever. They will not do any backup. Based on your qualification, uh, where qualifying uh, this one, then they will call once you apply. Then, uh, they, will, they will take you without uh, anything, but only personal interview will be there. Personal interview is uh, it's, it's like uh, the subject. Subject matter they will ask just like that they will, they will ask some questions some questions they will ask the experts like um, uh, Dr. Swagar he has come from Amaravati and uh, Athanaris uh, experts they will call 
they will see the data here. Uh, they will ask questions, and after that, HR department will negotiate. Negotiate means nothing will be there. Again, salary negotiation will not be there. If you take HPCL, if you take MRP, if you take IOC, if you take some other organization, manager scale is manager scale only. 553 rupees 80 paisa means wherever you go, that much only. Either it is Vishakapatnam, Mantapalli, or what you call Nailur, or Delhi, or what you call Gurgaon. Nothing. Same salary, same structure. And same what you call the promotion policy also. Uh, what do you call engineer trainee, engineer, assistant manager. Earlier, earlier it was a long uh, journey, but it, now it is not like that. Once you complete your engineer, engineering or this one, then immediately you become assistant manager, then manager, then senior manager, then chief manager, then DCM, uh, deputy general manager, general manager, and chief general manager. One in between, one uh, one uh, this one has come in between because. People thought that they are going very fast to GM and AO, so they put CGM, uh, Chief General Manager. After that, Chief General Manager, then they will become GGM, Group General Manager, in some areas. Otherwise, they will make you as a Director, Director of Operations, Director Refinery, or Director Technical. There are a lot of, again, uh, Director Marketing. Marketing, um, Science and uh, Technical people will not be there, or sometimes they will be there, based on that. Even, already told that some people they are working in HR also, HR head there. As a technical, uh, some refineries I saw that um, basically technical engineering, but finally working in HR, HR head should have a general attitude, general capacity uh, power. That is very important, managerial skills. So engineer um, is having only engineering knowledge is not sufficient for your information. You should have general attitude, how to tackle these situations, how to tackle the accidents, how to tackle the what you call statutory and regulatory people. He, he, he has emphasized once uh, in his speech, you might have observed that uh, how many qualities you have to acquire. You should be an all-rounder. This 60 degrees. Generally, you will become a managing director or director for any of the top class organization. Because today, so the NIT is uh, one of the uh, topmost, uh, topmost uh, in what you call uh, institution. You are all lucky to have this uh, seat here. So I congratulate all you, all of you, and. Uh, Wish you all the best. Any doubts about that? Uh, because I have already told the process of the recruitment, uh, with the process. So, um, still, if you have any doubt, you can ask. All the best to all of you. Uh, uh, and uh, I expect that many of you working in top class. Um, that uh, was three industries, public, three premium um, public, public sector industries. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for the informative lecture. I request Dr. Vinod Sumaraja, head of the chemical engineering department, and I request all the faculty members of the chemical department to join to felicitate Mr. S. Chiranji Guru by presenting memento of short and certificate.
The Monday Symposium has come to an end. Students have learned new dimensions in chemical engineering that are useful for their higher education and employment. They got vast knowledge on scale-up scale studies in industries. I hope our students have got a lot of motivation and learned about the future opportunities in chemical engineering. I would like to call upon I would, I would like to call upon the DAS, head of the chemical engineering department, Dr. Vinod Kumar Raja. Dr. N. Vinkateshara Rao. Dr. G. Antanari Sharan. <laughs> Mr. Chiranjeev. I request Dr. G. Adhar Adhishwan, Adhar Adhishwan to share his experience about the day. But no. A uh, very big task to me to share valuable things. Actually, the one day um, went well. Um, first, to come to the poster session, I evaluated a few posters. The posters uh, very good. Uh, the student explained well um, the new concepts and the new idea. Uh, developed by the students. We appreciate all the students. A few comments. Uh, this is a technical inputs I commented to not the student also. Uh, you just see, give some more input uh, to prepare poster with a uh, lot of technical inputs and insights. A few, few only, not for all. Others are good. So, uh, next. This uh, one day event organized well. So I am seeing here uh, very good cooperation and coordination with all the supporting and teaching staff in, uh, in the Andhra Pradesh Department of Chemical Engineering. So I appreciate all the uh, support here, supporters for this uh, event. Um, I thank you all. Keep on, you continue the same support to organize several uh, events, for example, international conference, national conference, in person, or workshop, etc. I hope uh, the student level, uh, uh, you learn something from this uh, four, four experts. Um, uh, the organizer chose a uh, very good personalities and experts, one person from the industry, another person very experienced, Professor Rao sir, very experienced. He shared his experience, another one so, uh, is, he is from the industry person. And uh, I did through the uh, Sunil Kumar. Uh, he explained a lot of things about that, how to do this prototype. You have any idea, small things, small idea, innovation, how to develop. So I hope you, you learn the one day symposium, a lot of uh, insights and uh, ideas. Uh, I request all the students, uh, you apply the, all the insights or uh, idea uh, today, you learn from. This uh, symposium, you apply in your real life or you apply in your curriculum, get a very good job or career, whether you go for the placement, higher studies, or any sort of. I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you, everybody. thank you for this opportunity.
अमित कुमार Dr. Vinod Kumar Raja, head of the department, chemical engineer, for giving you all the thanks. From morning to evening, we are speaking and we are hearing in the audience. Now, someone should come here to say something. We should be the audience at that time. That is more important. It should not be one way. Somebody must come and say something, so that we'll feel that we are audience. For both of things. For both of things. So honestly, this is the first symposium that I attended uh, in this college. So it was a great experience. And uh, I'm looking forward for more symposium uh, experiences, not only from chemical engineering. So uh, I'd like to learn more about even other departments. And uh, uh, I'll be looking forward for uh, more scientific uh, expression and uh, more enthusiasm from my classmates and my friends also uh, regarding uh, what we are studying and what we are actually trying to apply it in the real life. Thank you. Definitely, like it was a new insight about how can we uh, change the world with the help of chemical engineering. Uh, we have a lot of potential. So there's a taboo in India that uh, uh, computer science is the only way of earning something or maybe changing something or making a difference in this society. So that's not the truth. Uh, in this case, not only chemical engineering, but this is a common misconception with the non-circuital branches or the core branches, maybe mechanical engineering or metallurgy or even the theoretical sciences, if you think. Uh, to be honest, uh, there is a very small amount of uh, scope in India about theoretical scientific research. So that is also uh, which we have to promote and uh, develop uh, for the future of the economy of India. I call upon Dr. Vinod Kumar Raja, head of the Department of Chemical Engineering, for giving the vote of thanks. Thank you very much. As uh, Viral said, uh, he has attended the first symposium in this college. And uh, we proud to say that this is the first symposium organized uh, at institute level. So uh, here we are accommodated in the private engineering college called uh, Srivastava Engineering College until 2019. And uh, in 2020, the pandemic has started. When we moved to our permanent college, the pandemic has started. And after that, uh, we conducted uh, several events through online platform, including faculty development program and uh, I remember that uh, Mr. Sarenji Minuji also given the talk through online on the earlier. So, and uh, after we come, and uh, there were uh, several platforms uh, created and uh, which were available for you people to get some uh, knowledge through that. And we felt that now the time to conduct offline program. So, this is the first offline program at institute level after the pandemic. And, uh, okay. Out of thanks, uh, I feel uh, honored to get the opportunity to propose a of thanks 
on this one day symposium on ideation, innovation, development, and technology transfer of industrially scalable processes. I am very thankful to our director, Pramod Yampadoli, for giving me uh, permission to organize this event. I would like to thank our registrar, Dinesh P. Shangareddy, for providing necessary administration support for this symposium. I would like to extend my thanks to all teams, HOD of other departments also. And uh, I am thankful to Dr. Professor Yam Venkateshwar Rao, uh, Secretary, IACHC Amaravati Regional Center, for uh, adding this to this event. And uh, like uh, what I feel, felt today, after learning, uh, hearing his lecture, like uh, chemical engineers are equivalent to God. So, like uh, the statement, Raji Raja Akhani, is lecture. He said that, so I too uh, read many books and I too uh, heard many lectures and uh, from from the morning to the night, so all the products what we are using, uh, that is uh, made, uh, the involvement of chemical engineering is there. But uh, today, the way he explained, the way he conveyed, so uh, I was, uh, even I, I too motivated and I felt very proud that I'm also one of the chemical engineers. Thank you very much, sir, for coming from uh, all the way from Guntu. And uh, <laughs> I say thank you very much. And uh, my heartiest thanks to Professor G. Uh, Atanavi Suren. So, if you type by his name, in any research portal, for example, LCVL, Springer, whatever the reputed publishers, you can come to know who is he. So such a such a person, like uh, he has done a lot of research on separation processes, especially on memory technology. A lot of technique he has invented, and uh, he also like when I was taught yesterday, he said that he was uh, uh, going for some inspection. Uh, for the industry, and as is uh, one of the nominee uh, from uh, government nominee for uh, Central Pollution Control Board. So he is a very busy person, and uh, thank you so very much for sparing your time. And uh, you come all the way from Chitrapali because of my invitation. Thank you, sir. Thank you for voting. <laughs> my and my thanks to our. Uh, invited expert, uh, speaker, uh, Professor T. Sunil Kumar, who comes from IIT Tirupati and shown uh, the prototype model, how it has to be uh, developed. And he has shown some photo a photographical presentation. And uh, I thank him uh, for coming here and delivering and sharing his knowledge to our students. And I thank S. Yes, Siranji Vilu from uh, MRPL, uh, Mangalore. Uh, who comes from Raja Mandri and delivering a uh, inspiring part to our school. Thank you, sir. So I am very thankful to the organizing team for making this event successful. I am thankful to Dr. Bindia, Dr. Gautam, Dr. Athanu, Dr. Sudha for uh, handling inauguration, decoration, and log logistics for the state. I am also thankful to Dr. Prashad, Dr. Anil for making food and the travel arrangements. My sincere thanks to Dr. Gautam and Dr. Manikiran and Dr. Atanu for posters, banners, and certificate printing. I am very thankful to Dr. Gautam and Dr. Gopali for making arrangements at the guest house. I am also very thankful to our non teaching staff for their support and help. My sincere thanks to Institute Dean, uh, Second Gates, and HODs from other departments for the support. And my special thanks to Dr. Sudarshan Doha for his help and support in making transportation, food, and accommodation arrangements. I extend my thanks to Dean Student Welfare, Dr. Vide, for his support, and Sports Department, Dr. Kiran Kumar Gurala for audio and video arrangements. Guest house people, housekeeping staff, security persons, 
Thanks for sir for help and support. At last, but not least, I am very grateful to our volunteer students, Sharma, Riyas, Ganga, Lalita Devi, for anchoring and stage support. Our second year, third year, and final year students for fixing banners, posters, photographs, etc. I am very thankful to all our participants, presenters, and awardees for showing great interest for this event. Once again, I am thankful to one and all, directly or indirectly associated to make this event successful. And also, I expect the same support in our future events too. Thank you so very much. I would like to spare two minutes from our registrar, Dr. Pilgrim. Good evening to everyone. Um, yeah, first and foremost, like, congratulations to the Department of Chemical Engineering for the students as well as the faculty members and non-teaching staff. Uh, because by afternoon itself, uh, many faculty members have attended here. They were all having uh, a lot of praise for the way it was conducted. The best part even we chewed up like this, like uh, having this course of presentations. Maybe one way you would have been forced to do it. But the other sense, uh, like see, uh, in my view, it, being, it brings a sense of uh, belongingness to this particular event. Let's imagine without that poster presentation and photography, imagine the same uh, session. It's like any other class, you are coming here and then sitting here, you are listening to four lectures and you are leaving. So because of which you are forced to do something and somewhere in your uh, back of your mind, yes, I have some work to do on this day other than regular uh, attend, I mean, the classes, right? And um, uh, hopefully, like, um, uh, like uh, Dr. Adana, I mean, Professor Adana Resonance's lecture, where he has uh, shared much of the details, you go have that presentation and then explore all those options, like fellowships, and then uh, the best part what uh, Sir uh, told is, uh, like tapping those who want to do MS or PhD, best part is you enlist the uh, uh, good professors in uh, top universities and tap them by sending mails. You keep on sending reminders once in a week. After a few days, at least some of them will, and at least one or two will respond to you. In order to, before tapping them, one thing which I want to add is, you have to build your resume, resume in such a way that your, along with co, I mean, curricular, co-curricular activity should be there. Either poster presentations or paper presentations, publishing of your paper, they see your uh, inclination towards research before they respond. Simply just if you write a mail, nobody will respond. But you need to have along with your academics something else. Some uh, additional 10% something should be there. And I hope uh, uh, Professor Venkatesh Rao sir has uh, enlightened you about chemical engineering and then uh, what he has done all these years in chemical engineering. And as well as uh, from uh, Chiranjay sir, about the petrochemical as well as uh, these aspects of chemical units. As well, uh, I haven't been there for Sunil's lecture. Uh, so, hope all these lectures have uh, been given some kind of different uh, perspective about chemical engineering. And at the end, I congratulate the entire department of chemical engineering. Thank you. Going to conclude it? Yes. Okay. So uh, let's have some photo session yes. with our faculty member first. After that, we call our student. Yes. Yes.
So second year students, if you please come on the stage, we can have product. Please come first. Thank you. I am not a PhD student. Please. I request everyone to raise the national. 